Guys, welcome back to another episode, episode 25, Intelligent Idea Talkers Podcast for that. Sunday, September 17, 2017. <laughs> I'm your host, D. This is Juice. Your boy, Jay. And we got a special guest in the building today. What? Oh, hey, everybody. My name is Frank from Pongmanto. I actually host a show called The Good Games Podcast, yeah, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm friends with... Uh, these with, guys, with these guys over <laughs> yeah, there. definitely. So, hey, and count me in. You got one more subscriber to your podcast. Yeah, oh, thank you. I so, appreciate it. That's awesome. Show. Definitely, man. How long have you been doing your podcast? Three years. Nice, nice. <laughs> so I've uh, been, been in it for a little while, but uh, it's 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 we, we do good stuff there. We try to do different things there. We try to have a more positive, more positive outlook on the video games today. Mm-hmm. But then there are also like real like bad games that we. Just come across and we just play. You shut them down. Yeah, we like, actually we these actually games devoted. Are actually, we actually devoted. Uh, we actually devote every sixty six episodes because the number of the beasts and whatnot. We devote to uh, just talking about bad games and just like oh, uh, rapping on them. <laughs> because like you that. know, good like games, that. bad games. So we have bad games as episode sixty six and bad games two, bad harder in episode one thirty two. So. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Like we do that. we do different things like that. Like so, yeah, it's a, it's a good show. I now, think it's a good show. Now, Frank, for me, just meeting you just now, you seem like a very avid gamer. Yes, and it's hard to please avid gamers, as I've recently found out. <laughs> so, are you saying that you could have a lot more bad episodes? Episodes for video games. Well, then you have positive episodes. We, well, we we could. It's very I mean, hard to please I mean, gamers, as I've recently found. It, it it kind of is, but the thing is, it's just I think it's just the internet as a whole, man. Like we've just become so engrossed in this age of information that it's just we need everything fast and we need yeah. it now and we need mm-hmm. it, you know, yeah, we need it to be the best and mm-hmm. you know, the original as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's like it's like we're we're just. I think we're like in the wild west of using the internet and I think like we're doing it wrong, <laughs> you know? And so like this reaction to what, to how everything, to how everything is perceived or understood is just, we just need to kind of just take a step back and realize not everything is that bad. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. It's hard so, to see that when you've been spoiled by the newest technology constantly like coming instantly, in. Like constantly now upgrading. You have, you definitely, now you have the 3D uh, view goggles. Yeah. And now you have all VR this other goggles. great... Yeah, the, all we the are VR living stuff. in the age of instant gratification. Yeah. I, mean, I feel know, like movies do not do like the, the way same situation. I was, I was about to say, like yeah. movies, like now there are like trailers for trailers. Yeah. There are teasers for trailers for trailers now. Like trailers are more events now than they've ever been. Mm-hmm. Seriously. You yeah, know? So and true. then when it comes to the actual movie, it's like, well, there have been like seven or eight trailers for this movie we've that we've all been looking movie. forward to. We've seen the movie. You know what I mean? So you're right. You're absolutely right. Movies have <laughs> definitely games too. Which I definitely feel you because Spider Man we're speaking about I before that. Yeah, they show way too much of that in the trailer. I mean, yeah. yeah, they show I, way I too much of that movie. I yeah, agree. Especially I was, with the scene with the ship, mm, yeah. nothing was falling apart. You they like, shouldn't they shouldn't they did that was cool that they showed that, but they shouldn't have showed Iron Man exactly. saving the ship. They yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come Spoilers, on. but yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. you have to have seen Spider Man by now. Yeah. I mean yeah. If you're gonna see it, you've seen it by now. Yeah, why haven't you? Wow, man, that's crazy. I got another question, Frank. How yes. long usually are your episodes of your cast? Yeah, we we kind of run a little long. <laughs> yeah, because we we, <laughs> we do too. Problem. We have the same problem. Well, well, how long how long is an episode of your guys' show? I'm sorry, I would I've, say I've an hour forty five. No, no, average. it can run. Yeah, yeah, it can run. <laughs> this is an hour forty five. Hour forty five. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so in the hours. beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, we used to run like really long. Our second episode was like three hours long, but that was because that was because our second episode was covering E3 of that year, okay. 2014. So it just happened to run into that time. So we had so much to talk about and stuff. It ran That's like three hours. a good time to start, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, That's like yeah. So much content, man. Yeah, that was, that was actually, that was actually fortuitous. <laughs> but at the same time, like, when it was just two of us doing the show, we, our average was like an hour and 40. And I'm like, that's really long. But then we added a third person. And then our episode average went up to like two hours and fifteen minutes, and I'm like, Jay's fault. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. To us. Yeah, talk real to, talk. It was about an hour twenty. <laughs> Jay came in. I don't think we were up to about two hours. No, 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 no. But that's but that's natural. That's yeah. actually really natural. That's that's something that will happen with more people, you know. But we we we're back down to two right front for right now. You mm. know, our third has some things going on. He's doing some grown man business stuff. So. We're back down to two, so our average has gone down considerably, right. and we've cut format a little bit to make sure that, you know, now we don't pass an hour and 20, you know, with just two people. But we talk about, like, headlines, we talk about current events in, in gaming, 
We talk about what you can look forward to expect. We talk about what we've been playing. And yeah. So speaking of current events in gaming, I know mm-hmm. this is kind of off the wall, but the whole Poodle Pie situation. Oh, God. With him yelling the N word. Yeah. We can say it. You know, by the way, I I used to follow him. I unsubscribed from him maybe about a year and a half ago. So I haven't I haven't heard anything about him since. So, so I saw this article. The situation so was remind, remind people who who this guy is exactly. His name uh, is Felix, he's just a... and he hosts. Uh... <laughs> and he, he, and I, his he's, name is Felix. He, he, is Felix. I can't pronounce his last name. He's basically Felix. He, he is the highest subscriber subscribed. YouTuber mm-hmm. on YouTube. Okay, yep, that's mm-hmm. what I saw. And, yeah, he's and like he originally most successful he originally star. started like six mm-hmm. or seven years ago, just doing games. He was in college for like biology or some shit, mm-hmm. and then he ended up. He's like, oh well, no, this is making a lucrative business. He pulls in and on average before like sponsorship and everything around four million a year. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So just just. That just, from just, just from YouTube. Just from YouTube. Just from YouTube. Why the hell do people YouTube like this guy? Game, and, why is it all such a magnetic and then, on, and then on top of that, and then he starts selling like, you know, t shirts and all this other stuff, and he just blew up and got crazy. And like, now I find him a little bit more obnoxious, so I was like, you know what? I'm done, man. I mm-hmm. subscribed, and that was it. I, I, I did see an article from that the other day. But I, then I don't know what's up with all this stuff. So the most recent, uh, I think, news headline related to PewDiePie was that doing a gaming, uh, uh, he was, he was he streaming. Was, yeah, he was streaming. And he ended up yell, yelling the N-word or calling somebody the N-word because he said he was trying to hurt them. You know, in, in the process of the game, he just he was pissed off. So he was just trying to just say the most obscene thing he yeah, could. Well, it was well, like he was like N-word. So he chose the N-word. But was so, like a hard, <laughs> and, then, and then everybody was like, oh! <laughs> was it like a hard R, though? Or was like, nah, no, nah, I don't nah, know. No, nah, no, nah, it was, it was It was with the A at the end. Well, wait a minute. Like, like, hold on. Now, them, right? That's it's not, not if it was a hard R, I'm look, like, I look, understand. Either way, mm-hmm. either way, it doesn't matter. It yeah, doesn't no, matter. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I have no don't excuse. get me wrong. I haven't seen this. I was just curious. I was just There's no excuse. Don't get me wrong. He can't say that word. Ever. Hey, listening. We're talking to you. So it's like a Bill Meyer situation where he said he was a house nigga. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No. oh, hell yeah. no. No, no, no. This Ice Cube put him in check, yo. Yeah. Ice Cube did for that website. Yeah. I remember that. Like, no. Ice Cube was like, I, I was no, like, you can't yeah. say that. Yeah, I, I, like, I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. That was good. Real talk. But, uh, so, I, I heard that some of the backlash to this was, like, um, some of his gaming sponsors, I think, Yeah, were, they dropped completely. They, they all dropped. They, or, not all of them. Not all of them. Because he's too, he's too much, he's too much of a money bag. He's too much of a money bag right now. He's Mr. Moneybags right now. Like, it would be absolutely dumb. Mm-hmm. Like from a marketing perspective for all of the sponsors to like drop him, you know, they're kind of just like still silently sponsoring him, but they're just not speaking up about what happened. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Now, what, why does this guy have such a magnetic personality? What was I mean? I, Cause I've never seen any of his gaming videos. So he's actually me neither. I know so he's really obnoxious. So like his, his main demographic would be like, I'll say people from like, 13 to 23 kind of was he like really vulgar cusses a lot stuff like that he's just really obnoxious he's 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 obnoxious but he's obnoxious but he is charismatic Mm. yeah at the same time that's 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 what that's what draws that's what draws me and he was one of like the first he was one of the first like in that in that group of like famous youtubers that we have now but he was like one of the first in that era to like kind of popularize the whole youtube video streaming you know, just about games like he did, like you said. Because I know nowadays, off. if I get caught on a game, like we were talking about Witcher 3, boop, boop, right to YouTube. I'm yeah. pulling right up the video, you know? And oh, yeah. I've like, never seen this guy's have video. You, have you guys seen Rooster Teeth when you, they had um, uh, Rage Quit yeah. with Michael, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So PewDiePie also, he's, he's one of those guys where he'll play like Rage Quit games and he just gets fucking heated, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. And, but his reactions are hilarious. Yeah. Because he's generally, he's pretty calm and composed, mm-hmm. but he's just this Swedish dude who just gets like fucking heated, man. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I've heard his personality is actually really cool, but you know, apparently he lost his shit. Last game yeah. I rage quit was Lords of the Fallen, man. I rage quit the shit out of that game. <laughs> Fuck this game. Like, I'll say though, like it's it's interesting because PewDiePie, this is not the first time I've heard of him being in the media for like something right. like, racist. Right. Because he actually had a skit um, right. not too long ago about him dressing up as a Nazi and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, but that was just like it was just a it was a bit. <laughs> that was a, that was the first time I actually heard yeah. about him doing it. Was, that it, was, it was just a skit that he was doing and they people took it out of context and that blew up and I was like they said he uh, had like Nazi imagery like hidden in his channel yeah. in the background yeah. and all this other stuff yeah. I don't know how much of that was true or not but he definitely caught a lot of heat I followed him for a couple years prior to like unsubscribing him from him he, he was I mean 
I didn't I didn't really see him being that bad of a person. He just became more and more obnoxious. And I kind of just grew out of that stage, so. Yeah, I actually never initially ever I never initially followed him. I knew of, I knew of his popularity, but at the same time he was someone that just didn't like grab I didn't gravitate to yeah, his personality, no yeah. so I just didn't really follow him. But I did, you know, you do hear of these things and it's like He's he was getting a little too he's getting a little too loose with the mouth like you know of course you're getting four million dollars a year you're kicking in seven figures a year you know just off doing of sitting, nothing just, exactly doing just off nothing. of sitting on yeah. your ass doing nothing doing doing that's doing video awesome. strategy guides yeah. Yeah. you know he does for, walkthroughs and all this other stuff yeah, yeah like that's the new strategy guide and that's a lot of people are getting famous for just doing let's plays and stuff like that but like getting back to him it's just like you know. Like it's just like being like Tiger Woods, where like Tiger Woods, you you're, you're getting all this you're getting, money you're getting and all this fame. You're too comfortable, man. Yeah, you're, you're too com- way too, too comfortable. I'm like, you need to stop with yeah. that. That's that's there's no excuse. Because in a way, you, you become an icon, and people people look, follow this you. This is still America, and people still want their icons to be at least somewhat like. Uh, you know what? Never mind. We have President <laughs> Trump. I can't even say stuff like that. No, we got yeah, President we, we Trump. Can't, we can't even talk. But you about know me the always playing devil's advocate. Is there a level of too much people being too PC nowadays? Like right? Like so you can't really express I, your I opinion say PC. without hurting I say PC is what I'm uh, feelings. It depends. You know? it depends. So maybe he really feels like whatever he said about the N word. Maybe that's how he really feels. But then you know people get upset. They you know you get sponsors drop them and stuff so, like that. I understand the whole PC thing, but when you talk about like wanted to hurt somebody and using that type of language though like not only are you hurting that person you're hurting a whole group of people though and it comes, yeah. and it comes from and, a, it comes from a passionate and, place and, too. And it, right and so to me that's where that's we fucked up right there yeah, yeah. like yeah, it, the, the, the whole pc thing that i could talk about that like i feel like that i feel that we're getting a little soft but that's another whole nother issue but with him though for him to try and hurt somebody else by, by using, using that term that. by by using a term that has been used to hate on another group, to try and bring hate to someone else, mm-hmm. that was just, that's too much. That's too far, man. Yeah. Yeah. I can dig that. Well, <laughs> I guess that's all we got to say about Pootie Pie. How do, how do we get into Pootie Pie? <laughs> oh, we're talking, we're talking about games. games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And we have uh, the grade A uh, game enthusiast right here. So, you know, <laughs> definitely. We, we have to talk about that. Yeah, I asking about that. You know, I, I got another question. I got right another question, there. Frank. There's yeah, a game sure. coming out for the follow up to. Uh, it was a Shadow of Mordor, right? It's called Shadow, Shadow of War. War. Yeah. When is this game coming out? Because oh. I've heard August. I've heard. Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, November. Okay. See, he uh, knows the guy who knows we, the guy. We must have got, push, <laughs> must have got pushed back. He's probably we, in the credits somewhere. When I saw the article for it like a couple months ago, it said August. Yeah. So August release date. Right? I was uh, so. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to try like, to. Fervently anticipating this game. Oh. And yeah, deep on that. Didn't, didn't drop. I'm not done, but yeah. I'm still I, uh, playing that, John. This is so. I, I went. To, I got the. I got the lucky chance to go to E3 this year. Yeah, like, damn. I know, I know Must be hates. nice. I know, right? <laughs> Must I know, be nice. I know everybody hate, 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 hate. Yeah. Hate, 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 hate. But now, um, so I, when I got to go to E3, I actually got a chance to see the game being played. The line was too long. Mm-hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't get to play it, but it looks legit, man. Yeah, it does. Like, if you like Shadow of Mortar, you'll definitely, it looks like you'll definitely enjoy it. It seems like there'll probably be a lot of glitches in that, in that game, though. No, they're, they've actually. Because of been... all the, all the, the cinematic things that are going on. Like, when I saw the, the promo it? video, it's really pretty. Oh. It's, it's yeah, like, I mean, it looked crazy. I mean, you know, there's just there's definitely a standard that they stuck to mm-hmm. with the first game, but it's it's super pretty and it, it runs it run it ran really well when I saw it. There's so much happening, you know, like in the background. I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's Shadow of War. It's the actual war zone. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, you gotta but, I mean, take this castle and there's shit going on over here. It's, it seems like there's gonna be a lot of glitches. No, nah, I, I, I don't, I don't think so because I think like technology is growing every day, mm-hmm. and you know, it's actually growing faster than we think, like than we know. And I'm thinking like Skynet's gonna come right and take over the world. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> somebody who agrees with me about Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but there. The there problem been... is, it's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I, a crazy story. But I'll get to the, I'll get to that story. But at the same time, technology is growing every day. So we we're actually like games are games are growing like as far as hand processing, like handling processing and the RAM. It's mm-hmm. it's gotten to a point where that's not going to be an issue for too much longer. Are you going to play Shadow of War? I'm going to try it. Yeah. Are you going to play on PC? Uh, probably. PC. Damn it. I gotta get, I gotta get a PC, man. Probably. Because that's like the future of it. Because that's the that's the that's the smoothest way you can frame experience rate it. Frame rate is better. You know? I mean, just add-on content is better. Yeah, it's crazy, man. But uh, but uh, anyway, that story I was talking about, right? So 
I was so I was talking to a friend of mine, and uh, I, I had just finished playing this fantastic game, Persona Five. I'm not sure if any of you play Persona. No, Persona is an amazing RPG. You should definitely just play it. It'll change your life. It really will. Um, but Persona Five just came out, right? And in the game, they had this I Am app, right? That was really stylish, and so they actually had it available for download, right? And I told my friend about it, who's also a huge Persona fan. And then when I told him about it. We went, we went to like play video games or whatever. And then he looked up the app. He looked up the app on the Google Play Store and he's like, yo, check this out. Oh, also, also of note, we were talking about Super Mario Run. We were talking about how that game was like, you know, an, an Android app or an iOS app and it was popular, but it didn't do that great, whatever. So he goes to look at, he goes to look for the app. The first suggestion was the Persona 5 IM app. The second suggestion was Super Mario Run. And See, I'm like, man. yo. Big Brother's listening. They're and I'm like, I'm telling you. I was just saying that about Juice recording us. Like, Big Brother is there. Man. I, just saw, <laughs> I just saw an article the other day. It was saying, like, how seen that your cell phone yeah. is listening to you at all yes. times. Yeah. There, there are times. There no, are they proved Same thing with Facebook. They yeah, proved yeah. it. They're, they're, they're listening to you. They are, they are already listening to you. Like, how many, like, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I've seen ads on Facebook. And I'm like, I just talked about this. I'm like, I just talked about this. And I'm like, this is crazy. It's creepy. And I'm like, you know, I'm not. Somebody said there's a setting in Facebook um, that most people don't even know is turned on. It's the microphone, the yeah. microphone app for them to be able to tap into your and cell phone. Listen in on your conversation. your microphone, exactly. And it's like, it goes back to what we were saying um, before, like how, you know, when you download an app and it'll say all these app permissions, you know. Yeah. Like, and like, you just, okay, okay, you just, okay, okay, whatever. Okay, 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 okay. You just hit accept. Nobody yeah, exactly. reads that. Nobody reads that crap. Yeah. You know, they told you. They probably told you already. Like, that, even hey, still, like I just got a, I just got a new phone. I mean, it's not a new phone, but it's a a new Different phone, phone for me, right? Mm-hmm. So I just got this phone, and so I'm redownloading downloading Facebook and everything. They asked you for your permissions to be able to to use the app. So it was like, do you allow Facebook access to this, this, and that? And I'm like, sure, yeah, I probably shouldn't. But, <laughs> except this <laughs> but <laughs> still, <it's> like, <laughs> I'm trying to get this done. I really want, I really want those bitcoins. I know. <laughs> at, least, at least you second guessed it. You're gonna play some Candy Crush. Pretty much. Play that you know candy crush like I definitely thing. have that moment of pause now, but I still accept that, y'all, just because I know, like, I'm, it's not gonna work right. And you know, somebody else brought yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Saying, that's my fear. It's not gonna work yeah, right. Like I need the same to work article right. I was reading. Right, it's like you know, Big Brother, and you know, all these 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 things are kind of. It's hard to function in your day-to-day life as an adult without these things, right? So without Facebook or even your cell phone or your credit card or, you know, just all these uh, kind of mechanisms to kind of keep you under control, you can't really function without those things, you know? I mean, like not having Facebook on your phone would be more of a hindrance than accepting all the permissions, you know? Mm -hmm. And and the thing thing is, though, we we can function without them. It's just we've gotten so so used to it, man. Like, I don't know about y'all, but if, like, I, like, it's gotten to a point where it's like, you know, I remember before, like, I used to leave my phone home and I felt like, oh, man. Naked. Yeah, naked. I feel like That's weird. It. But now I know it's gotten to the point with everybody where you don't leave your phone at home ever. It's just not an option. It's just not an option. You forget your phone when you walk out the door. You go back. You go back. Yep. <laughs> you're, yep. on, you're on the bus or you're I'm, in I'm your be car. Late. You turn cool. around I'm and go back. Work. It's cool, yeah. though. It's like forgetting your wallet. It, like, yeah, it really is. It pe- really more is. people forget their wallets than their phones now. It's a necessity yeah. almost, yeah. though. You know? But yeah. why is it, though? Is it because we have our personal information on it or is it because what? Access to information. It's just, it's, it's the access to information to always be plugged in, to yeah. always be, to but also, always be in the know. You know that information can kind of be curtailed or controlled. You know, um, to the point where, like, if you enter a search into Google, where they can kind of uh, 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 set your search results up. You know, to not oh, really yeah. show you a, a certain uh, a result that would right. normally come up. You know, mm-hmm. which is like, man, so. Are they feeding us this information? You know, who is this Big Brother person? I want to meet Big Brother. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wish yeah, Big yeah. Brother could be a, a guest on the Intelligent Idea podcast. <laughs> he changes every four to eight years. Yeah, we can have a. The first thing you would ask, the first thing you would ask, say, Big Brother, why? <laughs> the scariest why? word. The scariest word you we said on a on, on the Intelligent Idea Talkers podcast, and I attribute this to Jay. Algorithm. It's an algorithm, oh, man. Sh- that's yeah. a scary word, man. It is a scary word, and it, it it's it's definitely more in use than you think. Your phone back. It'll grow legs. It'll grow legs. Walk off. Okay, so, you know so me. About to so speaking, speaking about personal information, <laughs> allowing access and all this, I don't want to you know go off on a tangent, but it's it's in the news. Equal facts. Oh, oh my right. god. 
Oh so, my god, they, okay. They wow. Whoa. <laughs> going to explain. What is the plan? So, I mean, 120 something million Americans were affected by this. Or 100 people. 120 something million people. Like, that's a third of the United States. Yeah. That's so, prob- there's four of us here. Probably one, out of, one out of us that's more. One out of us probably was affected. got fucked. Or three or four of us was affected and one of us wasn't. Like, that's, that's, it's just. That that whole thing that whole and you know do you know that there was check. such a <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. okay so so that's what I was that's what I was about to say don't check don't check because when you check you uh-huh. waive the right to be a part of the, the eventual class action that's suit that's right I remember hearing about that don't on check. A, on the news don't check but then there are also like rules within rules on check that your bank. so I'm not sure check your bank they're saying like now it's safe to check but then again you still might they they might automatically just waive your right cuz they sign you up for this like this uh credit monitoring program or the mm. credit security program like either if you enroll for that that's why you waive your right but there are people that have automatically been enrolled once they check so that's kind of like a whole confusing, and that's another gray corporate area. BS oh, scheme. Because if you bats. have a, if you have a section of your contract that says it's okay to sign somebody up for a for a a service I think it's that not, they it's, don't need, and that's going to work against them, it's not it's not in a contract. It's not okay. That's the it's, thing. They okay. do it. They do it's it anyway. Okay. They do it any. They do ridiculous. it anyway because they don't want to be. They don't want to. That's less money that they'll have to pay out. Even on top of that, like didn't um recently last couple of weeks, uh, uh Wells Fargo again got got called out again <laughs> for another batch of uh uh what was it um employee signing signing customers people up, up yeah. for a certain service that I didn't even ask they, for. They, they did like, the it time. and it was like Yo, another Wells Fargo was another like that shit few out, man. million Stop. people. They Thanks for the the getting caught up for that. Yeah, they do that all the time, especially yeah. them. They're just mm-hmm. it's just the ones that are publicly. You know what? I, you know, I actually, I actually understand because I actually had uh, Bank of America do that to me with a credit card. I was asking them a couple questions, like, "Oh yeah, we got to check. What do you got to check?" Right by the end of the like question section, they actually already signed me up for a credit card, and I was like, "Yo, I was like, I, I don't want this." So they immediately had to cancel, but I was like, "They had already I, done it." But I was like, "If yeah. I didn't say nothing, mm-hmm. like, you know, I would have had some two weeks later." Like, what are you guys doing? Seriously, come on. Yeah, yeah. and they're talking about the whole Equifax thing about like the whole checking and all this stuff. They're like, oh, you know, well, what we'll do is we'll give you like a year's worth of Equifax like security and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Look, man, if I was one of the people who hacked you guys, right, I'd wait until the day after the year and then just mess up everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not give the people who are affected a whole lifetime? Because you you've already destroyed their information. Mm-hmm. You already took it out. Yep. Like, how is one how year really gonna, worth? Yeah, like, what is it even worth? Well, yeah, well, seriously. Like, like, for it, the person who's a victim of this. No, so. uh, collectively, like, well, individually, it might not be worth that much, but collectively, it's worth everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think a lot of these companies you know? and corporations and, and even banks and all that are just to the point where they can just do what they want. And they know that the masses can't do much about it, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. They can just do it. Because there are so many. They might suffer consequences down the road through the court system or something like that, but us individually. We can't do anything about it. We just got to accept and say, oh, that's fucked up, you know? There are there are so many of us that aren't in the know as far as, like, how these things work. And then there are even less of us that are in the know. And then of those people that are in the know, there are less of those people that will actually take action. Or, yes. that, or that consider to take action. And then less of them will take action. So it's just a... Uh, it's just like a giant machine that we mm-hmm. were, we're trying to beat, and we need to do it collectively, and that's we not need, going yeah. to happen. That's exactly what it <laughs> that's is. That's not machine. going to happen. All these, mm, you know what I mean? It's just a giant machine that we just can't beat because we don't, we can't band together on our own. You know, Skynet, which is which is also, <laughs> which also goes back, back to how they, they like August to keep 9, us divided. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, racially, class, class wise, mm-hmm. they like to keep us divided. They don't want us to band together. No, no of course not. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, finally, my 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 freaking, you know, uh, uh, the Skynet theory. Yeah, exactly, my Skynet <laughs> theory. My 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 my. You know, well, the date the date has passed, so it's hopefully all it's coming not together, happen, right? But, like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be believed. <laughs> You're going to believe me. It's uh, a matter of time. I Skynet believe, might be real. Shit, I believe in the back of my mind that something like Skynet could happen. There, there. Of course. Did you, did you hear? Did you hear recently that they? Again, I'm sorry, this tangent, but um, <laughs> but did you hear that they recently developed? Um, they developed an AI that was able to, basically, it was able to um, pass a Turing test. 
and you know the Turing test. Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, well, this, the, the Turing test is basically a, an AI mm -hmm. that will that will ask you questions, or you will ask this AI questions, and the AI yeah. has to respond to you basically. And you have to determine if that AI a, is a robot or a person. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yes, yes, This yes. is some ex machina shit. Right. Right. This is yeah. ex machina shit. So, so comparing like human a, responses versus the AI's right. responses. And do you know, I was, saw this. And, you and do, you know, do you know that there's an AI that passed the Turing test? Yeah. That convinced, yeah. A, that convinced a person and, and the, the, the scientist that it was a human. They shut it down immediately. Yeah, good. They shut, <laughs> they shut it down immediately. Well, at least that's so what like, they tell us they shut it down. <laughs> right? 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 Because you, you don't dump they millions or billions your, of dollars. Turn their phones the down. Turn their phones down, right? yo. You, you don't dump millions of billions of dollars into something and just automatically shut it down when you realize it's gotten to a certain point. Like, they okay, okay. Just told the public they shut Smart it down. So, no, so, so, that, <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen it already, I talked about this before in the previous cast, but Ex Mahina. Watch that. Yeah, I never finished it. Yeah, no, I do gotta watch watch it. Good. That will really mess you yeah, up. It's really good. That you're right. I do gotta watch it because no, you've, it, been, you've been hyping the movie. It will yeah. mess you up. Yeah, the right? ending. The ending is crazy. It will, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that, that ending yeah. it was is appropriate, but it made me mad. It messed me up. Damn. Right. And yeah, the thing is, like, no. The thing is, AI is like the terminology, the technology, all the stuff. Right. It's increasing. Like, look at Japan. They have like you know, like all their AIs coming out. We had this new one that passed the Turing test. Like. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. It's there. If not already there. Uh, it's already it's getting, there. It's getting there. And like, that, that wakes me up, man. I, for one, though, welcome our new uh, robot well, overlords. Well, well, yes, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> so, please. Uh, I'm just saying, though. Same thing, you know. I ain't saying nothing bad about you guys. They please. probably tapping my phone Come already. Come to the but. table, share yeah. meat. Meat. Man. <laughs> And you share a glass of meat. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but all our phones are tapped. We know this. As long and as it's they're not fine. a conspiracy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a conspiracy the scariest anymore. part about that stuff is like people don't even think about it for the most part. I mean, like you said, like you know, there's even less number of people who are willing to do something about it. But for the most part, the masses mm -hmm. don't think about you know something like Big Brother. Or, or if they do, they're not people are concerned about care. taking selfies it's like, on it's just Instagram. Part of their they life, don't right? care. Like like I said before, I think I, about the new I generation. The options on the phone. It was like, do you accept these? And I was like. <sighs> yes, you know, just to keep things going, you know, we're all kind of hard to function as a person in society without these things. You yeah, know? and it's like it doesn't make it doesn't make it any easier with like social media, mm -hmm. um, and you know, I, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but social media has gotten to the point where people are just like, just. Just exposing their information. Yeah, my whole like life. Everything. Where I work, where my I address. Am, where I am now, my address. Oh, who my, who my siblings security. are. I'm yep. sure social security. You, you, you guys seen the whole Facebook, the Facebook app thing where it's like, oh, put your number. Put your phone number yes, as, yes. Part of as part, part of Facebook of the so I people can find you. Right yeah. And the thing that surprised me, right. the thing that surprised me, and I'm not sure if present company included, but the thing that surprised me, it said like, oh, like a hundred and something of your friends have already done this. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Idiot! No! <laughs> no! I'm like, what is wrong? And I'm like, the I, fact I that it's like trying to persuade out. you by the whole peer pressure. Right. It was like, you know all your like, friends right. are doing it. Right. 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 Well. Take a hit. This whole, this whole thing, like, doesn't, doesn't even surprise <laughs> me. Doesn't even surprise me. Do you guys remember Tay from Microsoft, the AI that uh, Microsoft created? We talked about this earlier in the podcast. Oh, it, it was wait. an AI personality. It was a girl. A girl, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she was part of Microsoft, and she they gave her, like, a Twitter and stuff, and she was post Oh, yeah, things, yeah, yeah. Right? I do and remember that. And then 4chan... Fuck that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. 4chan, like, within 48 hours, turned the AI so, like, corrupted. It also became, like, super racist, saying, oh, Nazi, uh, Hitler did nothing wrong, and all this oh, stuff. Oh, my God. Burned the Jews, right? Oh, like, literally, 4chan destroyed this thing. <laughs> so, oh, my Lord. Like, no, so, do you guys remember that? I do remember that. Just, I so, think this sounds familiar, yeah. yeah. So, the thing is, like, you know, like, all, all these new technology, <laughs> again, evil. all this new AI, people, like... That makes me nervous because, like, in the wrong hands, right? Like, right? we're all right. Done. Who's gonna persuade the AI? Yeah, but but exactly, exactly. Who controls the AI? Exactly. Yeah. The AI controls itself, and then it just starts if it starts cloning, and it it's just which becomes is really which scary. Makes the movie scenario even scarier, right? Because human beings, as the creator of AI, right? They don't want to. You know, AI is not gonna want to look at human beings as better than them, or you know, like as their god. No, quote, unquote, right. Right. no, no, no. So they're not right. Right. They're gonna no. be like, yo, yes, no, exactly. You guys are fucking we the planet up. humans are weak. We're this is, weak. This is David, yeah, yeah, yeah. David, from, David. From, I was from, just thinking from, about it. I saw that movie. Yeah. I, I saw from that movie. Yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. it. I we watched, watched it yesterday. Yeah. Yo, David's coming. <laughs> hey, David, I we like you. I'm on your side. I for one welcome. I for one. Our welcome. Our David overlord. By the way, this is this is kind of a. 
Spoilers if you haven't seen Alien right? Covenant. It's but movie, yeah, right? I saw. I, I didn't like how he was turning everybody into aliens. Though. Like, what, what for what, David? You know what I mean? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? He just wanted to create something. He wanted something he just wanted to be better like the creator and stronger. Or something? Yeah, he wanted yeah. better and stronger. Wanted, but why he wanted, want to create an alien? He though? wanted. He wanted. He wanted purity. Like he wanted like something that was like humans. Like we're flawed. We're weak. We are flawed. We're, we're weak. We're but so aren't flawed. the aliens too? No. Well, well not well, the too, xenomorphs well, are supposed to be not. Xenomorphs are supposed to be perfect. Yeah. Like the Predators, perfect, their, their perfect being, like especially when you saw at the beginning of Prometheus, the, you had yeah. the, that dude, the perfect being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Xenomorphs are a result, are supposed to be the evolution, if not the result of that perfect but being. But isn't a xenomorph something that the that perfect being, the, that species created? Didn't it's they create the xenomorphs? What makes it better than them? Yeah, that's, that's what makes it better. I guess. In this case. That's what can, makes it better in this case because it's like. It's I, like I love the of, scene how when they were landing. And you know you saw the society of all the uh, uh, the people and they were uh, running yeah. and shit. I was like, oh shit, that was cool. That was Pretty weird. Cool. Yeah. Spoilers, <laughs> people. I mean, like, anyway, <laughs> let's, let's take it down a notch. It, when you want something to be, to be better, it's kind of like our children. You want our children to be better than right. You. That's 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 you what want I'm our children. Really like, we we raise our children to have better morals than we do. We want them to be smarter. We yeah. that's why we put them to music class. Yeah. We put them into like sports and stuff. Yeah. We want them to be stronger, right. faster. Or, you know mm-hmm. all these things. That's right? basically that's basically what that's, what that's it basically is. what it leads to. Like when you have children, they're they're the idea of children is. They're the younger, faster, stronger, more intelligent version of yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of but you. That thing, but those but you have to nurture them in that case. And so you have to give them the best. Right. Speaking in the context of Alien Covenant, like, David was created by humans, right? So he would have some kind but of idea is, of the beauty of of the beautiful beautiful side of humankind. But right? he is an AI. And those xenomorphs were so destructive. It's like, why would you think that creating those would create the perfect being at well, see, that all. Depends on the, he doesn't, that depends on the creator as because well. Because it so. seemed like David was just a mass murderer at that point. He, <laughs> just, he was he's like, like, you know what, carnage never, and chaos is what I of, want. Um, at the end of Prometheus, uh, David made a reference saying that he didn't understand a certain concept like a uh, it was a concept of like want, right? Mm. So he's definitely, he's still missing certain elements of humanity. Mm-hmm. So if, if he doesn't understand like desire and want in himself, I imagine a concept of beauty and like symmetry and all those great like things that we kind of aspire to, we mm-hmm. see beauty in, are kind of beyond him. He's missing those things. So he sees a he's more a logical. Yeah, it's the he's logical. He's more logical. He's more analytical. The so the emotional view, side, the monstrousness is, of the alien of, the, of, a, of, of the a xenomorph. The monstrousness of a xenomorph doesn't really apply to him. More he sees objective. it as a perfected yeah. he just entity. He just wants... It doesn't mm. matter, like 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 you said, like with us with aesthetics, it doesn't matter how it looks. If it's if it's as close to the perfect being as possible... And functionality? That's and that's what he wants. Form that's what he function. wants. And that's what he that's why he was trying to turn he all of them. He wants effect, effectiveness. He wants efficiency. Like... And it's just, it's just logic. Immortal. It's just logic so, in his world. So That's another all. question before we move off from Alien Covenant: What happened to all the the the, the people that he turned into aliens? Though, right? Like, did they die off? Because the planet was deserted when they got there. I assume they died off. Yeah, I think so too. All those like, they got killed. Yeah, they didn't, yeah, yeah they, didn't, they didn't have um they didn't have any um like incubators, <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like people to grow and and burst out of and stuff. So like they couldn't grow. Yeah. So so he was like, oh, well, you but have the five thousand people exist. on your ship. Mm. The eggs do exist, <laughs> yeah. and the yeah. eggs are more or less immortal, right? Yeah. They they'll they'll last around for thousands of years. Pretty because much. Because what we've seen yeah, from, from at the beginning of Alien, where they found the all those yeah the, all the, the, the eggs just eggs, sitting yeah. there, and that place has been dormant for like mm-hmm. a thousand years or so, and yeah. they were just ready as soon as somebody came up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh. Face hugger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, let me stick my finger in here and swirl it around. <laughs> that with this that green that thing pissed me off. Here. Yeah, it's like, what the like, hell are you doing? It's just little things. It's little things. You're on an alien planet. Like, you're going to stick your finger in a string. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and like we talked about real this. talk, we, they've been doing that. Let me stick my thumb. Let me not in say it. they, but look, before, we know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we all know who you're we talking understand. about. That's the nature of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so we talked about this clearly, clearly, but uh, we talked about all of this. Let me go before. mix some shit and sugar right. in this thing. And but see what for real, but for real though, like another thing that bothered me. Why would you take off your helmet? Yeah, all right. You don't know what's there. You don't know if any kind of like. 
spores anything in the air or something. You know, right? Like, <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what's there. I kept saying that to Chloe. You were watching Prometheus. What as soon as they found out, oh, this air is breathable. They're like, you <laughs> 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 like, would be like, no. Nah. Breath. You better put that protocol. You better have that you no suspicions. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, a little like, bit so I would have still been in my suit. I'm like, so how are you guys doing? That's good. I'm going back to the shit. Yeah, no. Right, yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're okay. already <laughs> fucking up. Start speaking. I would be like, like, yo, this is already OSHA. fucking this is, up. Oh, this is against OSHA regulation. Exactly. Yeah, like, y'all, like, y'all, y'all done. Y'all messed <laughs> up, man. I'm going to report all, all of you guys. All y'all contaminated. I'm leaving. What the hell are you doing? All y'all contaminated. Wow. Oh, Lord. And then you want to come back to the ship after you did that? No. Yeah, no, I'm like, I'll say, no, I'll say, I'm going back to the ship. Y'all are staying out here. Yeah. The ship will be locked by the time you get back. Go ahead and explore. <laughs> you made your decision. <laughs> For me, I'm like, no. Even, <laughs> you know what you did wrong. Even the main guy of the ship, he's like, let's fly closer to the storm. I'm like, bro, you have 10,000... Of colonists no, on this ship. Why are you said, trying to fly said, closer? Why do they do that? And I'm like, I know who you're talking. <laughs> about. I know who you're talking about. Too. We're not going to discuss that here. Been been that. Like, why? Why do they do that? Why I'm do like, they? I don't know. I want to pull that further. I'm so, like, no, it's, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's too late. That's that was his wife down there, but they told you she killed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. She's like, let's get it. You know, it was good. I just wish that you know. Last point about Alien Company. I just wish they had showed more of the. The creators' civilization and what they were doing, you know, yeah. like what they were about. Yeah, that's you know. what the next movie is hopefully going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope so. I, mean, that, that I, like, I liked what part. I saw. I liked what I saw, and if that with like Prometheus, so that dude mm-hmm. was a beast. Yeah, he was like, right. He was a and beast, even like, from the beginning was, of the movie. Honestly, he drank more that, of them. Yeah, me too. Where he drank that <laughs> substance and he broke down and into the water and yep, you know, created the first organism. Like, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also like the suit, man, awesome with the whole helmet and everything. Yeah, that was really cool. That was really cool. What I really, I was saying this to I was like, what I really want them to do was to really tie. The you know covenant to the beginning of the first Alien movie. And they're, like, they're, I they're leading see, up to it's, that. It's, it's supposed to be three they're of them. It's supposed to be three of them. To, to, be to lock that in. They're I'm leading exactly up to that. They're going to. They're going to. But at the same time, at the same time, like they did it. They were supposed to. Prometheus was like they tried to make it like an original movie. Like it was like it yeah. has ties to Alien, but it's not really. But people were like, uh, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> who? What the fuck is Prometheus? Who? Who? Who, who, who knows what this is? Which, not, which? not not unless you were like a big fan of Alien, you would know Prometheus right. is the shit. Right. But at the same time, like. Prometheus, like the average moviegoer, was like, yeah. "What the fuck is this?" So they were like, "All right, well, it's it, it, all right, it's an alien movie. It's an alien like it's an." Alien all right, we'll sequel. make it into it. Yeah. and then that's why right, the second fine. movie is called Alien Covenant, and the third movie is probably going to be called like Aliens Five or something. I don't yeah. know, but it's just like <laughs> the birth, aliens. rebirth, <laughs> aliens, aliens rebirth. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Like that that for me, Prometheus. I didn't know anything that it was connected to aliens. Until the very, the very end, end of the movie. And spoilers. Yeah. Until the very you haven't end. seen Prometheus, but when that alien popped out, I, I, I was, was like, disappointed Dang. at that point. I was disappointed. I was <laughs> like, why? Now, like, like the, to me, the, the movie, movie was interesting yeah. enough. Uh, yeah, like six yeah. years old. Yeah. Like six years old. To yeah. me, the movie, the movie yeah. itself was interesting enough up to that point where I didn't need to see that alien. I was disappointed <laughs> when that alien popped out. I was like, it's an yeah, alien because movie. It, it was hammy because they didn't have any kind of like mention mm-hmm. or it's anything. An alien I thought it was, the movie by itself, I thought it was awesome. I, I thought it was loved pretty it. good. Once it was pretty good. But you, you know what? Aliens, I was like, huh, okay, I want to know yeah. more now. But here's the thing: it wasn't. See, that's why I don't buy, like, they were just like, oh, this is an independent movie. Because it had too many connecting parts. Like, the big, uh, 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 the face helmets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you look at the beginning of the first Alien movie. That's right. what the thing looked like, you right. know? That big-ass gun thing he was sitting in, about yeah. to shoot that thing towards the planet. Like, that was the same thing he was sitting in at the beginning of the first Alien movie. Mm-hmm. Like... Because I, I mean, don't think these they, are, these are I pre- think they had to kind of these are these anyway. are supposed to be prequels. <laughs> these are prequels yeah, yeah. before they lead into the alien the alien franchise proper. But at the same time, like they they had to put things in there for fans. They had to put things in there. A lot, of, back, a lot of yeah. those a lot of those were also reshoots because they really, really? wanted it to be very different. Oh, from okay, okay. they wanted it to be like its own sci fi epic, mm-hmm. like Aliens was or Alien. I say Aliens because that 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 was the best one. Alien 2 2, best two? One. Yeah, yes yeah, best one that's ever. the best one but at the same Aliens time Aliens 2 was the best movie which one when Ridley <laughs> got into that machine and she Aliens, was fighting Aliens 2 yeah, Aliens okay, two, yeah that was the best one yeah. Ripley <laughs> also, I, did, I did like Resurrection though I like Alien Resurrection I like, I like, I like, yeah. I like all of it I thought it was decent 
I yeah, I didn't I, like. I did not like. I didn't like the. I didn't like Alien oh, Three. I didn't like. I didn't like. Uh, I like the whole franchise. I just. Mm-hmm. I'm just a fan. Even yeah. even if it was bad, I'm like, you know what? I st- I'm still gonna watch. But I Alien vs Predator, Predator was awesome. Alien vs Predator Two was dope. But I but I but I'm just gonna say that uh, I did. They did have to like do reshoots for that because they had to put stuff in there to okay. get people coming back. So that when they renamed the That's second movie good. Alien Covenant, they knew like, all right. We already got the people who saw Prometheus. Now let's get everyone else who didn't understand what this movie was by calling it Alien. Remember right. this? Mm-hmm. Remember those? The classic movie franchise from the 80s. Remember this? This is another one of those. Oh, people will go. Because blind. Yeah, because they you know, <laughs> you know? like A lot they of don't. this stuff has to do with marketing and, you know, how you're going to sell a movie. And that's good shit, though. Putting butts yeah. in the seats. Like, basically. you know. That's all it is. It's about a certain, the money. In mm-hmm. a certain perspective, I really appreciate marketing, you know. I hate commercials. Like, I was telling Claudians the other day, like, I feel like commercials are, like, really just shitting on you. Because they're like, hey, buy this shit. Mm-hmm. But marketing, though? It, like, like good marketing? Like, the, like when you when you have a whole movie and you have a segment of it and you set it up just a certain kind of way to pull people back in? Like, good, high quality? I'm like, oh, I love that shit, man. You know what? You know what? That. Speaking of advertising and all this marketing, you know what really bugs me? When you have advertisements now on Facebook, in, in between mm-hmm. videos... Yeah, I can't stand that. Like that kills me. That kills me. I can't it. stand it. And I'm like, I, I was just like, whose idea was this? Now it's a smart idea. It's I a smart it. idea because it's a video. If it's a video, especially that you want to watch, like <laughs> I don't know, a movie trailer or something, and you really want to watch it all the way through, and they have an ad in the middle of it, you have to stick it through. I'm watching I a puppy video, you have to stick uh, it through. right? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> something else comes up, and I'm like, man. Like, like when that skip ad man. option doesn't come up on the side, you're like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. No, why exactly. that, why does it have 35 exactly. seconds exactly. of this? I hate, I hate that it even got to that point. Why yeah. are we having ads before these videos that are like, they're supposed to just like start? And, but like you said, it's smart. <laughs> some of the <laughs> worst, know you some of the worst video, offenders, so. the worst offenders, when it's like a funny video clip, right, from like Reddit or whatever, it's only like nine, ten mm-hmm. seconds. Oh, long, yeah, and the commercial, right? the, the, the commercial is longer than 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah, yeah. commercial starts second, but the video is only nine seconds. I'm like, what? I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not yeah. worth it. Like, but I, the thing is, the thing is, it still counts. It still counts. Once it, once it starts loading up, it still counts as you have watched it. I know. And I'm just like, that's how they get people. Mm-hmm. That's how they get you. It's I, smart. It's smart. I won't buy that product. Oh, my God. Under any but do you have any idea how many commercials that you that they air and you have no idea what they were selling? That's yes. that's happened so many times. Yes. I've watched so many commercials where you have no idea what they were yes. actually selling. It's just like they show like models and women and men and you know like like, like twenty pack what? abs and that was a hammer you know? commercial. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Carl's? <laughs> Carl's <Jr. laughs> really yeah. go there. Wow. But yeah, commercials, commercials. I, I but the thing is, the commercials, commercials, commercials are the biggest part of marketing though. By the way, you know what's my favorite kind of commercials, though? The ones that, like, like you have no idea what, what, what they're selling? Thai commercials. Thai, com- you, thai commercials? No, like Thai. Like, that's in, like, Thailand. Oh, oh, Yo, oh. Yeah. They have some of the most mm. heart-wrenching commercials. Oh, actually, like, the ones yeah. that you just, like, bawl your eyes out, right? One, is it, are yeah. you talking about the one with the doctor? Like, any yeah. of them. Yeah. Any uh, of there's them. There's a number of them. Any of them. Oh, my God. Like, like all of those. Like, like, like first of all, I love something. them. I love them. So, yeah. those are, like, three minutes long, and, like, you just yeah, try at the very end. But then it'd be, like, for a printer, and you're, like... Right, right. 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 Or about about, wasn't, wasn't that was in the doctor one for like, batteries? Was yeah. it for batteries? And yeah, I'm like, what? And I'm like, right. is it for the, batteries? The, uh, yeah, yeah. And, like, right. and I'm like, this whole time, I'm like, oh my god! Ah. And yeah, it's like, like it's Duracell. Like, Duracell. <laughs> Duracell lasts Bitch. longer and stronger. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Duracell. But you know what? I love those. Though. Those are ones I love. Them. I love them all. About the Andrew all of shit, man. Fuck Duracell. But no, like yes, a lot, a lot of them. Like there's one where yeah. like there's like a dog dying and stuff, right? Like and, and was, those are heart wrenching. But at the very end, it was a printer. It was just selling for printers. Got it. Nope. You know, printing out like, <laughs> printing, like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm like really. I'm like ah, oh, god. The but I still watch nope. that. I still watch it because I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> like, I know what? it's gonna be good. <laughs> Oh, but that just reminds me of like when you were asking like you know what are they selling like yeah socks yeah, maybe that, go, that goes back to that uh, when we were talking about about a uh, gratification and like America's man or I, maybe I don't even know about Americans but just people in general we have such short attention spans nowadays where like Americans we don't most. want to sit through a thirty yeah. second commercial to yeah. get to a, a you know we just don't want to why you know? that why do you think like why do you, okay so why do you think like streaming is a thing now mm-hmm. Netflix yeah. and Hulu and why do you think it's a thing that they don't have commercials in there now. Even I'm you a know, big like you can you have the option right. with you pay Hulu, you pay extra you pay extra to even not YouTube have commercials I, YouTube. I got YouTube, YouTube red, YouTube red. Yeah. I got it YouTube yeah. red I haven't YouTube seen a commercial on YouTube red in months so it's, it's like the whole new hostage though man like commercials like the whole new hostage man like, they you are. got you want to watch a video 
The thing is, the thing pay is, me, the thing and is, you can watch the video. Mm-hmm. Playing playing devil's advocate a little bit, you got to understand that commercials are what pay for that program that yes. you're watching. Yes. If it wasn't for those commercials, you would not have that show that you love yeah, so much I get that, that you're watching. I get that. You know? So it's a double-edged sword. You got to take the bad with the good you at the same have time. To. Even bringing up Netflix, right? Fucking like, you know how people say, because I'm a big Game of Thrones watcher. You know, people don't want to wait till the, you know, they don't want to wait a week to watch the next episode, right? So Netflix comes out with a model where, you know, they'll come out with the whole season all at once. Yeah. You know, put all 10 episodes there. Yeah. But then when you get to the 10th episode, you're like, well, shit, now I got to wait for the next season? You know, I don't want to wait. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm ready for that, that ep- next episode now. Like, yeah. it's crazy, man. Like, our gratification is just, we need. I love that. We though. need it. Yeah. You know? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. That 10 I'm, episode model, you really like that? I like, sometimes I, yeah. I like the anticipation I of waiting for a week. You know, like you get to build up to it. You get. To I think. I think it. it. I think it honestly depends, because like, uh, so I don't know if you watch uh, anime at all, but I watch My Hero Academia, which is like, yeah, I'm on this right like now. One of the top three animes right now, mm-hmm. right? And so they are right now. I'm caught up with okay. them. I caught up with them. I caught up with them as of five episodes ago. And the show is so good, I refuse, I refuse to wait a week <laughs> to watch more episodes. So I'm just waiting until they build up like 10 episodes. I feel you. I feel you. That's what I do that. straight. People do that a lot. Yeah, I'm yeah, watch too, straight. I refuse but, but, but in because theory, I refuse to wait a whole week for just this much to happen. And then I'm like, no. But in theory, isn't it the same but thing? Aren't you waiting? No, it's essentially, you are waiting. Because people do that even with Game of Thrones. Bigger picture. The whole Bigger picture. Bigger picture. You get more. But more. Okay, so with anime though like, episodes but with anime though sometimes there's filler episodes yeah right and oh, that right. bothers me that's like, that and that's another reason why i wait because i refuse to wait a whole week for a filler episode to hit me in the face yeah you know i don't want that i, I, I remember naruto. back in the day i used to watch naruto right oh my but God. that's one of the worst so offenders, I did with naruto. right yeah. i was caught up with like episode 160 something right and then just tons of filler like, like, 10 episode yes. of filler. and i was just like yeah. i can't i can't like why would you do this they have got they, they did flashback fillers like yeah. flashback, yeah. that wasn't really even relevant. It's <laughs> <laughs> a filler, ten episodes of flashback. It's a filler for a filler. Like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. It really is, though. It's but disrespectful. yeah, but I think I think it depends. Mm-hmm. I think it depends. Like like Game of Thrones is super like number one TV show yeah. like right now, and it's like Netflix. That, that show. That show, actually, HBO. Go. HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Netflix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they're not selling that to Netflix ever. No, that show. Is HBO has their own streaming yeah. service. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like Did you watch Game of Thrones. I, I read the books. Mm-hmm. I did too. Yeah. I read the books. I, I, I have honestly, I'm going to say it. I have not watched Game of Thrones ever since they started deviating from the books. So it's people who love the books, not messing with deviation. It's, it's getting but, interesting. Yeah. It's getting interesting. No, I, I believe it. But I believe it's hard, it. I just it's don't hard don't to translate something. By it, so I think I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for I'm I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the series. And then, because this is the last season. This last season was it, right? Next season. Next season. Next season is lit. All right, I'm going to finish the series and then I'm going to go to the books. The books are awesome. the books aren't the books aren't finished though. Yeah, the books the the the, the show the he show is going to die. The sh- who? <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> Martin. Uh, who? I tell oh. you, he's going to die. <laughs> like, he's oh, going to die rich. He's going to die rich. He hasn't yeah, named yeah. a successor for his uh for his, his novels either. Like if he dies before they're finished, he oh, hasn't they named a successor to for somebody to complete his books. Oh, I didn't know they did yeah. that. I thought that was just it. Yeah, nah, Octavia they, Butler died in the middle of a. Uh, uh, one of her stories. And mm-hmm. The um, they only have five six. books. They only have five books, whereas the show has seven seasons, and they started deviating as of season six. Oh, okay, and you now, have to deviate a little bit though. I tell people who yeah. watch Game of Thrones, who love the show, that the books are everything you love about the show plus more. You know, yeah, there's more there's, content, there's more there. It's dense, it's but more that's generally how books are. Mm-hmm. Like, there's always yep. so much. There's always so much richer when you're reading a book, right? There's so much. More that just can't even also can't because you're adding conveyed. your own imagination, too. right? Yeah, yeah. That's too. You know, and that becomes really vivid. Yeah. But that, that goes back to so I'm gonna take it back to Death Note. So because of this fact, <laughs> the Death Note movie, I admit it wasn't amazing. It but was not amazing. It was, it was not. not amazing, but it mm-hmm. was solid. Solid. Yeah. Have you, seen it was the, solid. have you seen the Japanese live action though? No, I haven't watched those. So did you, have you seen it? No. The Japanese live no, action. No, I just seen the anime. <laughs> So I like the Japanese live action. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, like, there's little things that are a little skewed, but I thought it was really good. Mm-hmm. But seeing that one and seeing like the trailer for this new one, I was like, oh, man, it doesn't it's it doesn't well, even look the same. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say just difference of opinion. You know, I love you, man, but 
That Death Note movie was trash. It was. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, but it was it was it was hot garbage like oh, that. Damn. It, oh. it, for, just for so, for so many reasons. That's why I wasn't gonna watch it mm-hmm. for so many reasons. But I'm, why you know, did you even watch it? The, because I'm a you fan. Had to. I'm a fan you of the, I'm a fan Sometimes of the you show. Don't have an IP. Wait, did I'm you know of, that it's gonna be bad? No, no. I oh, wanted really? it to be good. I wanted it to be good. Uh, you, I, you like, I, didn't, I, didn't, wrong. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be one of those things where you just assume, and you know what they say when you assume. But I didn't want to be one of those people. I wanted to give it a fair shake, mm-hmm. and yeah. I did. And you know what? What I assumed was correct. Shit. Correct. Right. Right. Hot garbage. It was shit under my shoe. It was so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will never watch a Death Note movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I no, wasn't no. Going but to but the, thing is, the thing is, the thing is, as a fan, if you like the anime, you should watch the, you should watch the movie to form your own opinion about watch it. Watch the Japanese I, like, I just highly, I just highly, I highly recommend that you do not The only <laughs> reason it. I watched anime watch, was off his recommendation. Okay. That was it. Watch uh, the, the anime, anime was legit. It. Watch the Japanese live action first. At least that, actually, I actually might want to check that out. That's actually. not bad yeah. to me. Mm-hmm. That wasn't bad. It wasn't like as great as like the anime, but it was up there. I was like, okay, that was a good representation mm-hmm. of what you kind of expected. And you're like, okay, but they had three that. movies. They had three, three, three uh, live action uh, Death Note movies. I only saw one. I heard they had like three of them. Maybe I don't know. I I've only seen one. I'll, I'll figure out which one I saw and I'll send it to you later. But like that one wasn't bad. This new one, Death I was Note. like. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I think. And I'm like, rap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all do sound effects it's on this cool. show. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> no, nah, we do terrible. now. <laughs> but you know, we talk about like, uh, we should have a sound effect machine, man. That'd be freaking awesome. Man. But, uh, <laughs> we always talk about like Big Brother and everything like that. But technology is great, right? Like, if like you know, like you're talking about the AI, depending on which hand is being used in. Okay. You know, technology is it, it makes our it enhances our lives, enhances our experience. I got another life, one you know? for you guys. I got another one. I, I know. I've been been talking about this one I mean, for, for like a while now. Games, We've been talking uh, about this for a while now. You guys still haven't done it. I know you haven't done it, Mr. Robot. Uh, no, season I'm three is coming game. out. Oh my god! I watched these. I watched. I, I almost finished season one. I'm gonna get back into Holy it. Holy cow, dude! Yeah, I hear. I hear things just amazing. get crazy. Amazing. And the reason Wait, why what's it on again? Mm-hmm. It's on USA. Uh, USA. Okay. Yeah. But the reason why I love this is because I feel like it could happen. It's just. It just tips. Tells that level of reality. Not even probably there. could, Jay. It probably is. It probably, it probably yeah, is. It, 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 probably it right. is. You're probably right. As of, as we speak. But Mr. Robot, that that whole that reminds me of all the other like, uh, you know what? Just just all get right. into. I it. I, I definitely. If you guys haven't watched, I definitely <laughs> recommend it's, it. It's, it's good. It's, it's it's real, yeah, I I've watched. I watched most good show of for season a while one. Too. Season one was so good that like Ellen and I we were just like, you know what? No, we have to watch season two. Yeah. So we immediately just bought it. We just watched. Just marathon. Yeah, like season season one is legit. Like the first episode will draw you in. Like the first scene will draw you right in, mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh, oh, and then and then every episode you're like, oh, 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 it's crazy, it's crazy. But no, for real, it's it's legit. It's a oh, good damn. show. All right, I'm, I, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish season one, and I'm going to get to season two. Actually, I've been looking for something to watch. I'm mm-hmm. gonna watch that. Yeah, we got to talk about it. I'm gonna watch that. Damn, yeah, I, I got to do it. Just watch, just watch the first. Do you ever feel like though that there's almost too much at your fingertips now? Like there's too many shows, there's too many so video games, content, there's so man. much content to just consume that you don't know how to focus in and zero in on one thing. You know? Yes. It's like oh, I want to watch Death Note. Oh, I want to yeah. watch Mr. Robot. Oh, I need to. I'm watch like, the, I'm trying to watch video up. games, read comics, exactly. watch movies, uh, spend time with TV kids. series. Right. Yeah, spend time with get family. Some sleep. I got to read like all work on my. Art, like, do it's, a podcast. It's it's. it's We've had a podcast yes. in like two months. It's like there's I, I, no time to to. There's just no time in between anything now. You know. I feel. I feel like. I, I, it's kind of a philosophical question for you guys, I guess. But like, why don't we focus? Like, why can't we focus on one thing? Is it because there's too much coming at us and we want to experience it all because we know we only have like one life to live, or? Should we be focusing on just one thing and just let all the other things just and kind of enjoying kind of, this one yeah, thing? Yeah, just kind of yeah. enjoy the one thing Probably while you're here. You know? Because I gotta work forty hours a week. Even if you didn't, even if you didn't have a job, or you know, you didn't yeah. have to go to a place for forty hours every week, right? I won the lottery. You still couldn't consume. You still couldn't consume everything. That's true. You know, you still could not consume everything. Mm-hmm. That is true. Even with all the time. And all the money, let's say, 
You couldn't consume everything that's available to us. We have a lot of things happening. And that's a good thing because there's so many people creating. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many people creating all of these different things. But at the same time, it's like you guys need to like we need to understand that like there's so much that maybe we just need to scale it back and focus because you you because you'll you'll feel and sound like a crazy person if you're like I gotta work on I gotta go to work I gotta I gotta I gotta uh, take care of my family I gotta watch this show play this game train. draw this train um you know like go to the gym uh go like be do do things outside have a social life with my friends right and, and then like, wake up tomorrow and do it all over again yeah, yeah. but it's just like Where's the time? Where's the time for so you? Sit back where's and the time? Yeah, where's the time for you? Where's you, the you ever, you ever Americans do where, not reflect. You ever had that time like, where you we don't have time? To. We don't have. You don't yeah, really have anything have to do for that. at the present. Anybody moment. I got time for that. <laughs> you ever had that, that, that? It's like you don't really have anything to do at the present moment. You might just be sitting back watching Death Note on Netflix, right? But you feel like anxious. You feel rushed. You feel like, man, I gotta get up and do this thing in an hour. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, like I gotta go. I you just, gotta go your out mind to, I gotta can't go even dinner, relax. I gotta, go, I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go handle this or mm. help somebody with this. And it's just like, there's so much. That's why I'm so impressed with people who play video games, especially right. gaming. I was just about to say that <laughs> because like, gaming if, takes up a lot. Exactly. Of but, okay. Exactly. I was trying to play Andromeda. I had an hour. I tried to play. I, I you won't get there. And I was, I was hour, just like, God. fuck it. You got like, nowhere. I'm not doing it. I'm got to finish this. Look, I got to finish Witcher 3 and having to deal with this guy, my son. It's just, <laughs> uh, you can't do it because I'm that's, hungry. That's I need the, to go. I want to go outside, you know? That's the God thing. Like, that's the thing. Like, you have to, you have to, we have, I think, I, I personally think that we need to scale back and focus. Like, there are prior, obvious priorities. If you have kids, mm -hmm. you know, you have, you have a family, you got a new place or, you're, you, you know, you have whatever, your dog yeah. and, you know, just got married or whatever. It's just like, you have priorities. You have to, but like, if you play games, you gotta be like, that's it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You gotta focus. Like, that's it. Gaming. You have to focus. You have to focus. Three and a half have hours. The thing with talk games, to me. Look, yeah. this, if I, this if I why... miss a cutscene, because of this guy, I'm pissed at him. I'm like, damn it, I gotta understand the story. No, you know? see, and you can't go back. See, yeah, you can't go back. Why, like, with or video games. if you go back, you gotta restart the whole mission over. Exactly. You're like, damn, I gotta or play the whole thing. Or you miss thing. crucial information. You yeah, something. you know. See, this right. is why, like, back in the day, I used to love RPGs, MMORPGs. Yeah, me too. But the thing is, oh, like, if, an hour, mm -hmm. you're just starting a raid. You're yeah. just starting whatever. A quest. You gotta pray. Right. You, you know, can't exactly, do anything exactly. an hour. So, like, but now, like, for me, I try to transition to like fighting games or something else because, like. It's easier. It's much faster. Give it like you know thirty minutes. It's faster, but it's not as uh, as deep as a. Right, no, as exactly. But the thing is, but the thing is, I got time for an RPG. I love RPGs. <laughs> like, look, if I'm trying to get my armor, them. then I gotta like, level my armor up. Yeah, you know, then I gotta go around and collect well, some it's, supplies. It's not it's enough it's just it's like, it's I mean, more <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely it's definitely a matter of like time management. Like you know, like Persona Five, for example, right? And then I'll just get into another point. But Persona Five, that game was so amazing. I literally played that game every waking moment that I had. Really? Every free moment that I had. I played that game for seven weeks straight every single Sorry, day <laughs> for every waking moment that I had every single day because the game was that good. The game mm -hmm. was like a hundred hours easy, like main story. And then you have to play through it again to like get more stuff. Right. So the part like, you didn't get before. Yeah. Man, and like, I, didn't, I didn't even do like that second playthrough yet. two and a half weeks of full-time work, man. Uh, over, over the time I've been playing Witcher way, 3 through me. all the DLCs and everything, I probably put over 400 hours in that game. You see? I mean, but it's, it's just, just a, it, it'll it's tell a, you how much you put in slow, on the bottom. It's a slow, yeah. it's a slow burn, mm -hmm. but look how many hours you were able to devote to it. It's a slow burn, but that's why I'm like, we need to scale back and mm -hmm. focus with certain things. But the reason why video games is really good to focus on I, I believe because video games actually is actually a form of exercise. It actually works your brain. Mm -hmm. That you're is true. There. Ways you that won't is, do in normal life. Problem I, I solving, think it's a, cognition. Yes. There are so many things that video games actually contribute versus coordination. If you devote, you even. devote, if you devote yes, hand eye coordination. Mm -hmm. if you devote yourself to video. See, this is why cyber TV, athletes are getting paid a lot. Right, esports. That's e why it's such a huge yeah. thing mm -hmm. now. But like, if you're just sitting there watching TV, I'm sorry, but there's nothing going there's nothing on up going there. On. You just take it in. There's nothing going on up there. You're just taking in information and then you're just forgetting about it. Yeah, you know, because me. you're waiting for the next new episode of said show to come That's out. That's a great point, man. You know, for me personally, gaming is a way to relax. Like sometimes I'm at work and I can't wait till I can it get is, home. It is a way to relax, but you know what? You're still, you're still, you're still exercising. Your yeah, brain you're still working the brain. At the same now, time, yeah. that I use video games for relaxing too. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm. I'm reveling in the point that I know that I'm actually working my mind. There's think, another aspect too. So whenever we think about um, like why do men play video games more than women? It's always about this adventurous 
uh, aspect of our personalities, mm-hmm. right? Like men and even biologically come, in the, way this come together. Yeah. It's like we've always had this like desire to go out and explore and to create and interact with the world around us, mm-hmm. right? So in a world where we are in a secular environment here, you work, if you fucking go and start climbing trees and slashing at people, they're going to put you in jail. They're going to put, you in, put right. you in jail at best. They're going to put you in a mental institution. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and in a way, gaming is a way to live like your 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 adventurous side vicariously through these characters in this game through these mm-hmm. wild scenarios which you have to kind of you have to both use your mind and your dexterity to yep. defeat mm-hmm. yeah right yep. so it's, it's definitely it's definitely something and, that, that that helps us advance us or makes and, us stronger and, you know? and don't us, and don't you know don't knock on the uh don't knock on the female gamers too because they, they that's, true, that's true that's true mm-hmm. and actually actually a few mm-hmm. years ago at one point female gamers there were more female gamers than male gamers it was like fifty one forty nine percent. Yeah, but what? Fem- female gamers. I never heard that. Yep, this was uh, I think two thousand thir- no two thousand fifteen, where they took where they took a base uh, like a base ratio and um, women gamers outweighed male gamers by fifty one forty nine percent. That's I would never amazing. think it's still such a small it's a small percentage difference, but it's still a difference. No, that's a huge Based percentage upon- difference considering when we grew up, it was like. 90% men. Yeah. Like, and then, and then you know, that's what you have to understand. Like, there, are more, there, are, there are more women in the world than men. So yeah, it's that's like that. That actually doesn't surprise me because yeah. like, if you look at yeah. like Halo, for example, like a couple of years ago, lot, one of the top lot, gamers for right. him would be best in the world was like some 15 year old girl. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was blown away. I was like, yeah. Geez, that's awesome. it's the thing is, it's not, it's not, it shouldn't be such a surprise that like women, that females, girls, they play games too. You but know. based upon my experience, and I keep harping on Witcher Three, but my my girl cannot understand people in my inner circle. You know, sisters, yeah. whatever, yeah. they cannot understand why I sit for three hours and devote this time to a video tell game. Tell them, tell them, they cannot understand it. Them. They can't wrap their brains around it. Like, if you want to be, if you want to be, if you want to be like, if you want to say the polite answer, just be like, it's exercise. I'm trying to level up the grandmaster level, bitch. Yeah, right? it's like, exercise. Like I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, my brain is actually active this whole time. Mm-hmm. You know? That's probably the best only thing you if can you say because you can't explain to him. Oh, uh, I, I got to sl- beat this level. I want yeah. oh, to slay this get snark. From point A to point B. Right. Or I have to, I have to solve this puzzle. You right. know, and it's involved. Like that's going to be a little too. Oh, much and, for and you can't to say understand. just try it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like because they're it's not. They're, oh, they'll it's, never do it. Doesn't work. But at the same time, if you want to be antagonistic, just be like, well, it's better than sitting in front of TV and doing Ooh, nothing. Right? Which is probably oh, the main <laughs> reason they found <laughs> the problem about to say, saying it because they're just sitting in front of the TV themselves. Right. You know? I was about to say, I was about to say, it's better than sitting here staying at shit. Thanks, You can't say that. Only Dan Brown's horn! That's how you meant. Better than staring at you. Dan Brown's horn. Do you want a divorce? <laughs> wow. Nobody, let me say for the record, nobody would ever say that or think it on the end of the You might think no. it, but you ain't you gonna might say think it. it. You ain't, yeah, you ain't gonna say it. Mm-hmm. Like, if I, I, if I say, nobody if I say, will ever say or think it in any circumstance. If I, said, if I like, if most people, I think with most people, if you said half the things that are really going on in your mind, you'd have no friends and oh, no, no family and no one would love you. <laughs> so, Pretty much. Truth. It's the Real truth, talk. Man. So, talk. so we, we, we say, we say, we control what we say, but when it comes to that, the video games, like exercise, it's, it's exercise. There's so many man. There's so many times where people that I know have been like, "Aren't you a little old to play play video games?" And, no. Or or like video games lead to lead, video games lead to violence, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" No, not I, I, I prove, that old Fox I've proven, proven, yeah, proven that. I've proven that. I prove. I prove. I prove them wrong instantly. I actually showed them like articles showing that there have been multiple tests yeah. run on people in a control group with violent video games and peaceful video games and how they react in certain situations and like real situations after playing these games and you know what all of the tests inconclusive it's, inconclusive. it's not a thing it's not it's, not, it's like watching a movie the does is, a movie make you more violent Oops, right sorry. the person Toast. <laughs> what we forgot to do <laughs> Or even a, com- a commercial has somebody getting, you know, hurt or you right. know, some kind of violence. Like, I don't know about you, but I love action movies. Yeah. But I'm not going to fucking go and run people over just because I saw it in an action movie. Trying like, if, if, I, yo, if, I, yo, if I almost run over a squirrel, I'm mortified. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, I'm mortified. I'm like, holy crap, that was close. 
So the person, if the person is prone to violence, the person is prone to violence because right. they it's are a, prone a, to it's violence. Innate, okay, so I know. You ever be going down a road and you see that road kill in the road and you try to swerve to avoid it, or like you know you can't swerve and you just have to run it over. You ever did that? <laughs> yeah. I hate that feeling, right? I, I you know tried, what I tried to do, like, what I tried man. to do is um is make my wheels go like between, oh, right. like, between, between yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> What if you can't swerve and you just like I gotta take it? Boom. Oh. Oh. You're like, oh. yeah, clean my tires. You gotta wash your car. You gotta clean Wash my tires now. God, can't my brother stain my blood. Yeah. But yeah, it's gross, man. Mm-mm. But yeah, you're right though. Yeah, it's definitely. It's, a it sounds though. like that sounds like the same BS Fox News excuse talking about oh rap makes people violent. Oh yeah, it's like come mm-hmm. on, man. If you watch The Godfather 13 times, you don't go out and start a mob. Scarface, you, right? you don't. Scar- you watch Scarface. You don't go out. You don't go in a room full of people and start shooting them up with a Tommy gun. If you exactly. watch Scarface, it's the person. Exactly. It's the person. It's the person with their with their with their with the way they were nurtured, the way they were raised, the way they view the world. And, you know, even to the degree they're innate and, and even, biology. You know, in we talked about this in previous casts as well. I always reference, you know, previous casts and whatnot. But like even religion, for example, like if you're uh, if you're a violent person, you bring violence to your religion. See, like, yes, this is, see, yes. this is how we are always end up having two and a half hour podcasts. <laughs> Jay ends up bringing up religion and you know, <laughs> you know we can talk for like a straight hour. I'm just saying, oh, I'm just saying, boy. I'm just saying. There, there, there are there are violent Buddhists out there, for example. I mean, of course, there's violent Christians, who, yeah, who are who are burning, you know, people in Myanmar and stuff. There are violent Christians, you know, Great Crusades, mm-hmm. you know, definitely easy one of them. And like, you know, we, we can go into another hour with the there are just, charitable again, Christians like, mm-hmm. and stingy Christians, some that don't want to share their churches, right? <laughs> oh come on, man! Yeah, Joel religion, Austin had a religion. point. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was a, that was a segue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. He was trying to talk about something. Joel Austin had a point, you know. I guess we'd be remiss if we didn't um, at least touch on Hurricane Irma and uh, the devastation that's been wreaked upon the Houston, Texas area. Right. Hope everyone and, knows. And, and even now in the South Florida area with uh, Hurricane Harvey. 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 Hurricane Harvey. And Jose's Irma. coming up. Jose's and coming. Jose coming. That's three hurricanes back. So Harvey back was in Houston, in right? Harvey, sorry, Harvey, Harvey say, is in Texas. Okay, yeah, yeah sorry. I said and Irma. And Irma is in Florida. Okay, and yeah, um, yeah, Jose yeah. is supposed to also be kind of Florida, but more on the, more on the uh, like Georgia, Georgia, Florida coast. Oh, shit. So they're yeah. they, they angling for Virginia. It's just a matter of time. Well, they said they said that we were gonna get like some some uh, some blowback from Irma, but luckily Irma, 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 Irma luckily went out to the went out to the water um, as as it like hit like the tip of Florida, and then it went out to but the water. But we still lost a lot of like property. I mean, like yeah, Florida, Florida, Florida got me- Miami oh, yeah. got messed up, man. Yeah. I mean, if you see the videos, of, I saw, um, I saw, yeah, Key West and yeah, exactly. South Florida. I mean, this same Martin Island, Island. A lot of same, those same Martin, same Martin got they're done. devastated. They're done. Yeah, they're done. It's, it's pretty much. It's not. I'm not going to say it's off the map, but it's it's close. Yeah, I saw. It. It's oh, pretty I bad. Heard, yeah, it's pretty bad out there. But I'm sorry, you, so you, were, you were talking about. Uh, oh no, no. I mean, we can, like, it, all of it snowballing. This is what kind of we do here on Intelling Idea Talk <laughs> podcast. Somebody talks about one thing and it just snowballs off into <laughs> Edward Snowden. And uh, you know, I mean. We'll start with uh, talking about the heart lines. and weather manipulation, <laughs> good play. and we'll end up talking about uh, Witcher Three. You know, so it's a, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. But uh, so, in case you guys haven't been living in the states or have news, uh, for the last probably three weeks, we've been dealing with hurricanes in uh, the United States. And it's crazy, uh, man. So at first, we had what you guys just said. Honestly, it was a uh, uh, Hurricane Harvey that came into. Uh, Houston, Texas, yeah. which really did a lot of damage to the sea. I think upwards of was it thirty or more people who died. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think it was a, it's something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, a you know, lot I mean, of people, millions upon millions of dollars in damage. Yes, yeah. people losing their homes, uh, people lost their homes. And the, and the, and oil, co- and the oil thing that co- bothers me though, <laughs> a lot of these places though, like. There's no flood insurance, mm-hmm. yeah. so I see, I hear about people setting their homes on fire just so they can try they to can claim, claim the insurance. insurance. Yeah, because yeah. I'm just like, that's I didn't crazy. hear about that. But that's like, actually pretty smart. That yeah. I think about it like that. Like, damn, all this rain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 trying to flick trying light this light. I'm thinking about like, oh no, yeah, like, because all the flooding, all the electrical fires. I feel them. I mean, would you rather not, you know, and, and, and claim that's anything? That's crazy. You know, you, all like, your life. Your work, you know, everything you work towards is going to go up 
you know, yeah, that, or go underwater, or you'd amount, rather go up in flames and collect something for it. The amount know? of emotional, yeah, the amount of emotional turmoil must like. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, people think logically. <laughs> I mean, imagine the like kids, kind of man. Thing. If you have children involved in that situation, where you know their schools underwater, their houses underwater, you know they gotta uproot themselves and go. And to in a way, you see Joel Osteen's church, you know, <laughs> Yo, right? What? Trying to get to Joel Osteen's <laughs> church. So, all right. So, talking about Joel Osteen. So, what about the nursing home? What about, exactly. what about the old people? Do you, you go into a nursing home? people? They were, they, like, were, they, yeah, were they were trapped. Eight people died. They were yeah, trapped. Get, they were, was that a floor? And they were just sitting Thompson in the water, Thompson, right? Thompson, yeah, Thompson. yeah, yeah. I didn't hear about that, man. Most, most, of, most of the most of the people, most of the people in like nursing homes, or people, or like older people who were in like homes that were fairly above above mm-hmm. uh, land level or sea level, where they they were stuck. And they, they couldn't, couldn't they anywhere. couldn't, they couldn't go anywhere and they couldn't, like their medication couldn't get to them. It was probably being delivered and so on and so forth. They were stuck there. Which is scary. 30 right? or so died, like you said. Yeah. Because the power goes out. Right. The power goes out. No need. generators. Yeah. So if they're, know? if they're on vents or they need oxygen and stuff, that's all machine, man. Mm-hmm. Come on. It's just, it's it just sad. goes to it's show sad. how kind of fragile our world we live in kind of really is. Super fragile. Oh, it's super so fragile. fragile like a storm can come and blow us all away. And, and, and with no electricity gets knocked out. Yeah. And, you like, know, your life is just... I, oh, no oh, uncertain I, exactly. times. I, I, I don't know about you, but anytime my power goes out, I'm like, God damn it, God, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what, what <laughs> like, I'm suffering, and then it comes back on like a few what? seconds no later. What? No Wi-Fi? <laughs> dude, no, I sit, I sit, dude. I sit, I just <laughs> sit in the corner and waste Yo, I just go to sleep. I just go to sleep. I'm just like... Better sleep for two days? <laughs> like, look, go to sleep curled up in a ball. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a fetal position. Yeah. Tears, right. Tears pooling. <laughs> It goes out before you get to save your game. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime you see those messages in games where it's like, it's like saving game now. Please don't turn the power off. I'm like, you hear that? <laughs> you hear that, guy? <laughs> uh, don't go off anytime now. So that's happened to me a few times though, like yeah, years man. ago. It's yeah, scary. Yeah. But yeah, you were talking about. All right, Joel. Austin, go ahead. Yeah, Joel, All right. Yeah. Well, well, the whole anyway. reason we got into the hurricane thing, Joel Austin, even though it needed to be mentioned because it's uh, current events, but. uh you know, uh, so I think the situation with Joel Osteen was that his apparently his church was a dry place and it contains the space to have so many. I think like seventeen thousand people, thousand 17, people, seventeen thousand 17, 000 000 000 people. people. It's a mega church, um, the mega church. How do you have? A how do you church have anyway? A anyway. mega church. <laughs> so it turns out that <laughs> people were trying to get to his church so they could have haven, safe haven, and it wasn't flooded at the time. And that he you know, closes doors to a good amount of people. He, he just never opened it. He never closed it. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he never opened, opened his doors. Yeah. So what people were saying I was... I would have spray painted, Joel Austin, you suck on the job of church. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably you happened but with the mega church. They got mm-hmm. mega yeah, Jesus employees. don't like they you. Get, Jesus don't that. like you. Joel Austin. <laughs> don't like ugly. Don't Dude, like ugly. I don't know if you guys ever... like. I don't know how much you guys know about mega churches. So I've done some like research on mega churches. Some of them mega are church. so big. They have stores inside. Mm-hmm. They have concession stands. Yep. They have places where you can like buy clothes. Yep. Mega have, church. Like, Especially like it's a military a, base. No, no, it's pretty like, much. It's just Seventeen thousand people. Just one a building. lot of people. It's a, a mega church is a business as much as it is a supposed quote unquote church. You yeah. know, yeah. Think about all the dollars that are rolling yeah. into there every Sunday. You know, that's it's, it's a business. You know, yeah, you come to pay their tithes. You come to pay your. You know, the church is going to tax you. The question is though, was Joel Osteen right or wrong in shutting down or closing his doors to the public? Uh... I mean, God would there say, are no answers in the temple. <laughs> God would say he was wrong. But God, man, God, you understand that God? <laughs> 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 but but man would say that he was right, right? I mean, like you 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 think about it. You open your church. I don't know how much money Joel Austin has put into this church. You know, the, the amount, uh, which the people who were probably going to go there for safe haven probably contributed money to that church. Oh, yeah. You know, to, to build it up to the point that it is. That's true. But I didn't think about that. Property damage. Trying to get so that return. You can kind of understand, but at the same time, the humanitarian side was like, bro, open your church up for, for people who are trying to escape with their lives, man. People are losing their lives a, out here, you know? Here's the a, here's a thing, though. It's not like he had to just be like, oh, y'all can't come in. He could have contacted the necessary authorities to be like, hey, this it's location a is available for people to, yeah. for, mm-hmm. for people to come to. Mm-hmm. We can use this location as a safe haven, as a, what's the word? A, uh, 
like a like what safe haven reservation or amnesty or whatever like, but, but there's going to be a certain level of lawlessness that comes with that though right when you have thousands of people congregating into desperate. this one spot yeah you know right. I mean, even during a football game you know um you know you'll have people who get into fights in the crowd and you know there's and there's yeah. a certain level of control there you know mm-hmm. they have but during a hurricane you know at a church there might not be, you know, I brought up this point um, before cast, but uh, reading Super an article dumb. about Joel Austin, they said that during Hurricane Katrina in 2005, in the when they opened the Superdome yeah. for people to come as a safe haven, that people were getting raped and robbed. And, yeah. um, you know, I would have never thought until I read that article, read that in that article that, but, but man, like people were getting raped. Yeah. That was, that was, I was, I also said before, before we started this, that like people are, people are animals. Like, which still doesn't excuse, <laughs> excuse Joe Austin to me. Nah. You you open that church up, man, because I mean, yeah. what's the alternative for people? Like we knew your... it was going to be a bad storm. We knew that for for the week coming up before the storm. Yeah. We knew it was going to be bad. We didn't know how bad, yeah. but if he he has the capacity, mm-hmm. the location had the capacity, and he didn't offer the volunteer. Yeah, so true. his his excuse his excuse basically was that he he felt that the church was going to be more of a danger to mm-hmm. people if he had housed all of these people. Um, due, not not just due to like the crowd, but like due to like the fact that this church probably wasn't the safest place okay, for people like to go to because he thought structurally it would have had like serious water damage. The church might have there might have been parts that have collapsed. People would get hurt, or it would have flooded. You know, it might not have been the best place because I guess because of the level it was at. But that was his excuse. I think his real excuse was he just didn't he just didn't want he just didn't want like things like what you said like mm-hmm. about the Superdome happening where you all these be, people get you together be liable for that yeah all these people get together and then God knows what happens mm-hmm. in there God knows what happens God, God knows, knows. <laughs> no God who knows? knows what happens in it God, God knows <laughs> like God <Nah>. knows. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but like God but like I think that that was his real reason so I don't Which know I can like totally you said, understand but. You got to be a human being too, man. People don't have anywhere you to do go. Have to Think be about a human the kids. Being. It's move, Joe. You do have to. You do have to be a human being. And and in my think in about my the opinion. kids. Think about the elderly. You know. Think about people who don't have the money to get out before the storm. You know. Just members of your church. People Whatever. are pleading with you. You know, for a place to go, and if how can was, you turn them down because you don't want? If it was, if it was an enclosed space, whatever happens in there, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure the alternative. Would have been better than possibly dying drowning. or drowning. drowning out there, right? You know, you had to, you had to, you had to. So this is bigger than this is bigger than you and your mega church, right? This is this is preserving people's lives, you which know, is priority concerns. number one. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, in this world, like so, it's just like preserving people's lives. Just let them in. That's what, yeah. I mean, look, we can give them, understand. Give them the choice, but... at least you know. Like when you say no, you're already judging them. You yeah, know what I'm saying, give them a choice. At My least. thing is, I'm not shocked. Like, give did, them did, the did, he, did he turn away his members? Did he turn away his church members? Probably not. No, probably. Yeah. Do you think so? You think he turned away his church members? I don't. Think All right. Uh, you know what? Let me not slander the man. <laughs> but uh, possibly. But I don't. I don't think he did. I don't think, I don't he, think he, did, he did, man. I think like because like they put money into that church, so it's like, oh yeah, of course, come on in, brother or sister. You know, like, what do you mean? Like, no, 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 like no, aren't no, members no, people who attend no, the church? No, no, like, is there no, a different no, like, 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 like? So I remember hearing hearing about this. I don't know how true this is, but I heard that I heard I heard a, a little thing going around where Joe Olstein finally when he got backlash, he did bring people in. Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. Uh-huh. But I heard that <laughs> what five hundred uh, people. <laughs> uh, uh, here, here's here's the funniest part though, which I, I total scumbag move. I heard that once he brought them in, he started passing around the collection plate. What? Oh, I, 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 no. I, no, I remember hearing about this. I remember like one thing I did. He was like, "All right, yo, yo, hey, hey come on, <laughs> let's go." No. So, no. This move, Joel. I, no, I swear, this I heard move. that. I swear, I heard it. Jesus don't but like you. It was going around. I don't know how Come true on, it was, man. but I heard about it. I was like, you know what? What a scumbag! God dude. don't like ugly. That's man. messed up, man. But that's no, funny. Can, but that's so. It's so messed up. It's funny. But I was, he didn't. No, that, I'm gonna I say that I, didn't happen. <laughs> I'm oh gonna say God. that did not happen because even he can't have he that audacity. Not. Like, how dare he? Yeah. How it's dare he? Oh man, it's just. It made me laugh. I got you know I gotta look it up now. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's like I think I think in my opinion, um, yeah, he was he was wrong for uh, for doing that. Understandable, but wrong. Yeah, yeah definitely. 
I, um, I, get, I get where he's coming from, but wrong. I think we have to point out the fact that, you know, our hearts actually do go out to people in Houston. Yes, definitely. Um, in South First Florida. And foremost. Um, in the islands. Uh, I don't think we can really uh, verbalize or put into words, you know, the emotional impact, um, even the economic impact that these people are going through. Um, Y'all notice the gas prices. Something like that couldn't happen right here. When you're selling uh, packs of water for $45, um, everything is an opportunity to make money in our society, maybe in a, that's true. Uh, as far as a capitalist, um, capitalism is concerned, but it's just, man, I don't know how you can, um, justify something like that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he passed around a bucket. Well, so, so it was confirmed that he did pass around the collection. Plate. Oh my God. <laughs> I would have messed around and put some chicken bones. <laughs> like he did on uh, coming to America. <laughs> oh, I thought that was trash. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cold blooded, dude. That's cold blooded. That's what's up, yo. Joel Osteen cannot. You wrong for that, Joel Osteen. Yeah, you were right. And the thing is, like, uh, even on his website Says right now, Jesus. he's still taking donations for his church instead of like trying to pass along to like the Red Cross. He's got he's got enough money, man. He like, does. He does. Like, he he's really got does. enough money. That church has enough money. That's a discussion for another day. It's with the whole religion yeah. thing and churches and woof discussion for another we day. We gotta have Frank back on. <laughs> <laughs> But like he same, has a lot to say. But at the same time, like, like he has enough money, he can share the wealth. Yeah, definitely. It's like and, um, it's like a, it's like an athlete. It's like to, an athlete. Like to just, put a conspiracy thin on this uh, thin conspiracy spin on this thing. Um, thin spin. There was actually a uh, a video that I sent to the group um, earlier in the week, and they were talking about the heart program and weather manipulation, uh, and not weather creation, but manipulation. Um, and they were saying that it's uh, part of the HARP program, um, H-A-A-R-P, uh, which actually stands for the High Frequency Active Oral Research Program. Uh, and I got it pulled up here via Wikipedia. Um, the High Frequency Active Oral Research Program, HARP, was an ionospheric research program jointly funded by the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy, the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. Uh, it was designed and built by the Bay Advanced Technology, B-A-E, Advanced Technology. Oh, B-E-Y? Okay. The location <laughs> is in Gakona, Alaska. Um, and uh, part of the wiki article says, uh, Hart is a target of conspiracy theorists who claim that it is capable, capable of, quote, weaponizing weather. Uh, commentators and scientists say that advocates of this theory are, quote, uninformed as claims made... F- made fall well outside the capabilities of the facility, um, which I am definitely, I would consider myself to be in that conspiracy theorist cast, which the crazier something sounds, the more movie-like or sci- science fiction-like something sounds, you know, we're at the point with technology in 2017 today that this stuff can actually be coming true. I mean, you know, we we're talking about the, uh, the AI who mm-hmm. answered the human uh, uh, questions. Test, yeah. yeah, and they, you know, <laughs> Um, I think a lot of these things are I have are a question about, like, so I don't, the know, they, I don't know if they actually manipulated the weather for this thing. Here's the but thing. It's a conspiracy. Do we have it's a record theory. of it actually working, right? Because the idea, like, the idea is sound. That movie, that we know the idea that movie is Geostorm's sound. coming out. <laughs> right? The time, they, the claim, they claim the that idea is sound that they, they're the, what the uh, radio towers do. So, HARP is a collection of radio towers that project a, a, a energy signal into the sky that collects in the sky and changes the temperature patterns and thus can make a some kind of variation. I'm not sure how go, how how specific they can be on what kind of it, weather variation and what the result is and whatnot. The most prominent instrument at the HARP station is the ionospheric research instrument, mm-hmm. a high power radio frequency transmitter okay. facility operating at high frequency. Um, it is used to temporarily excite a limited area of the ionosphere, Ooh, sexy. which <laughs> is. I mean, right? It could lead to weather manipulation. So it heats right? the it heats the. But then this thing claims that it can create earthquakes, and I, I, I don't, don't understand how all that works. I, I don't I, know I, earthquakes. Maybe I could buy more, like um, you know, there was a video that went along <laughs> with this uh, that I saw. I don't know if it's on YouTube somewhere else, where they were doing a, a rocket shuttle test, right? And they uh, ignited the engines for the rocket shuttle. It created such a cloud of mm-hmm. uh, uh, of emissions from it that the cloud went up into the sky, formed, and it started raining. It yeah, rained yeah, 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 where yeah. this guy was, you know, mm-hmm. which is like, I mean, I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility that 
they can manipulate. When you think about it, right? like all that's going on up there is chemical reactions. Like right. all that's happening up there is chemical reactions. And if you heat chemicals to a certain degree, if you if you change the content of what chemicals are in the air and how they interact with other oxygen and hydrogen in the air or whatever particles in there, I imagine something could happen. It's possible. I feel like this doesn't bode well already for the whole climate change thing. You know what I'm saying? Like right? we, we've already we've already messed up our environment so much. So you would think what would be the point of weaponizing weather? Right. What would be the point? Thing is, the thing is, whether if, you, if you're gonna so. if you're gonna if you're gonna weaponize if you're gonna weaponize anything, it would be the weather. Because wow. what the weather is one thing that is everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> you you know, cannot stop it's a cloud everywhere. Like yeah. you can't stop. You can't but stop rain. My... You can't stop. You know. You can't stop rain. You can't stop lightning. You can't stop like the sunlight and stuff like that. Or like it's it's everywhere. So because of that, because of the area it covers. That means you can also cover all the people mm -hmm. yeah. underneath the weather happenings. So if you're going to weaponize Rain anything, upon if you're going to weaponize, you can, you can selectively, so, like you said, like apparently you can selectively <clears throat> rain destruction on like... But if this is such a plausible, like that's the thing, I don't know how... How manageable this is! Like right. we may have the capability it might not be to that do it, manageable. Yeah. but as far as manageability and being able to execute it, it right, yeah. and steer it, like I would love that we get the idea that we can just create a rain cloud, a giant massive rain cloud, and have it rain in North Korea yeah. for four months, or rain and on a place be where there's famine with and that. drought, you know? mm -hmm. or drought, right? Yeah. And we could just be done with North Korea. We could just flood North Korea out four months of rain. Just, Good. Like they're like, yeah, they we got water now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too much. <laughs> right, it's just a matter of time. Tsunami, all that stuff. But like, because we can't do that, right? Now we have Trump like screaming about fire and fury and shit. Mm. But if that was a plausible option, right? Like we would, we should be able to handle situations like that. But I don't think that's my that's my only thing. It's like maybe we can manipulate it, but to a point where it's actually. A feasible focus, option yeah. for for weaponizing, huh? for weaponizing, yeah. for manipulation. Like I, I think, I think that it's, I think that's that's a good point because I think that I think I don't think we're quite there yet. Like maybe if it, if it is <coughs> if it is being manipulated, I don't think we're quite there yet. I think mm -hmm. that it's going to take a lot of time. Well, maybe not so much time, but like time. It's going to take yeah. time for them to actually like fine tune it and pinpoint like areas and right. things that they want to do. And manage it better, but as of right now, I I, I think if it, if it's if it's plausible, it, I think it's plausible. But it's I don't plausible. think yeah, it's, it's I don't plausible. I don't think I don't think it's if if it is being done, I don't think we're at that point where we can like selectively like have mm -hmm. hurricanes. Let me shoot just, one like, over Virginia. Yeah. yeah, you know, Florida Florida has natural disasters all the time. Let's mm -hmm. just try to bombard them. Oh, we missed a little bit and got Texas first, but let's try to like you know. So it's <laughs> yeah, just like right, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make light of what like just Russia's happened. I'm really not. Yeah, 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 no doubt. I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. But at the same time, it's like we're not quite there yet. We're not to yeah. that point. I don't think. I don't think they're to that point where they can actually like be that precise. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. did control the weather, you could yeah, the world. you'd be storm. <laughs> I was just going to say, you'd be storm. You'd be storm. Right? I can't move you on be to the goddess, man. Because yeah. the goddess. The goddess. <laughs> the goddess. Oh, yeah, man. man. You but, know what? It's funny. We've been doing this whole cast for, what, an hour now? Hour and now. we have not touched one single time on the, the specific topic that we were going to talk about <laughs> from the very jump, which is... Uh, which is the, uh, the, uh, the article that you were talking about, right, Juice? Yeah. It's kind of late now. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we can touch on it a little bit, right? Well, how long have we been going? Just ask the ask the questions. So one, we're at hour twenty seven right now. It's so. Jay's fault. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's not that's not terrible. Hour twenty seven, not bad. Okay, let me see what we pull. Up. I think one time questions. we talked about how long we were going for, and it was like two. It was like two fifteen or something like that. That's okay. Right? Maybe we should we should end this. All right? Maybe we should wrap. This up. Yeah, <laughs> two hours and fifteen minutes. I don't think anybody. Gonna, I'm going to get tired of listening to this shit by the yeah. end of two hours. I'm yeah. going to be listening to our podcast like all right, two hours and fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what the fuck was he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you guys if you guys listen to my show, the Good Games Podcast, we regularly run over an hour and a half. <laughs> you know Good like, Games Podcast. Yeah, I podcast. am in a field where I can listen to a two hour podcast and enjoy the whole thing okay. right but i guess like a lot of people just aren't right they just it depends don't have on what you do you know it, like, it depends on the show it does yeah. on the show and also yeah, your interest in what, what you yeah, yeah. yeah like i hope we find we are enlightening to you all um 
So I, I found that article arbitrarily online once or a couple weeks ago, and I brought it up to the group, and that's something we, we should talk about. The article is titled, and you know, it's not an article, actually. It's a, uh, I think it's a research study or a research report. It, it presents this question, <clears throat> is homosexuality a paraphilia? The evidence for and against. So I thought this was an interesting topic dealing with our current climate nowadays. You have the situation with Trump trying to ban transgenders in the military. Why and for what reason? Does he have any reasonable reasons, cause, to, yeah. causes to do that, right? Yeah. And and just the current climate now. now Let's bring it down real a, quick. What's paraphilia? What is a paraphilia? I have the... Uh... You know, I was just wondering that myself, so I pulled up the uh, <laughs> look. I pulled up the, the, the description of it. Um, the hell is a paraphilia? Uh, let's see. Uh, describes paraphilias as recurrent, intense, sexually arousing fantasies, sexual urges, or behaviors generally involving non-human objects, the suffering or humiliation of oneself or one's partner, or children or other non-consenting persons that occur over a period of six months. What is that a proper? Uh, Where is that definition from? So basically, paraphilia. It's, it's Wikipedia. A it's, yeah. a, it's a fetish. It's yeah. a fetish, it's a fetish for over fetish. six months. So yeah. it's not just like a temporary. Thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, that was, that was actually something that was pointed out in the article. It's like it's a cur- it's recurring and it's and it's consistent, most likely through lifetimes, and it's usually developed during childhood. So in the article, it was comparing like the uh, some of the physiological factors. And the psychological factors between um, homosexual individuals and individuals who have a paraphilia, right? Mm -hmm. So pretty much comparing whether or not uh, uh, homosexuality is a fetish or not. So I had a couple of questions, and and we can talk about these. um, uh, I'm going to ask these questions if we could just go back and forth over them. So Mm -hmm. my first question that I had based on this article is, uh, what are the implications if homosexuality is a paraphilia? Hmm. Like, what was it, what would that mean for for either homosexuals or people with paraphilia? I think I think the I think the main point probably be um, if you don't mind me starting. Uh, uh, I think the main I think the main point would be the implication would be that. You know how there's, there's that whole uh, homosexuality is is uh, is innate versus nurtured, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. you know, or versus like you know created or yep. whatever. <laughs> so I think the implication would be that if it is a paraphilia, that it's something that's nurtured, that's created, that's like you know, it's not something that you're born with. It's something that you're, you know, that you acquire. That you acquire. That's what I was thinking too, because that's that's one of the bigger claims for uh, in the homosexual community, right? It's like this is something I was just born with. Like right. I've always been this way, right? <clears throat> and I think I think that I think that would definitely weigh heavily in favor of something that's acquired. So as far as how that's like hashed out in society, that would kind of if if. That was accepted. Wouldn't that kind of like that would that would that would, mess that, up that, would that would set that would set us back that would set us back so much because homosexuality has been and it says in the article homosexuality has been like more accepted yeah. you know like through throughout the years and it's it's more accepted now than ever you know Definitely. and it's just going to continue to grow to be that way but at the same time if something like this is starting to you know pop up or I know it's just a study, but if something like this like raises questions in enough people, it's going to set us back so easily because yeah, people are with the you know, privacy. There, made. there are so many people. There are so many people in this world that obviously are homophobic or just don't like homosexuality for what it is. Conservative for religion. whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> Conservative right. for whatever reason. Right, but like, you know? I think yeah, I think the, I think it would set us back like a whole a whole lot. I mean, we already have things already like pray the gay away. Yeah. Such. Like yeah. we, or being or being like reborn, right? As, like, as heterosexual, yeah, or something like, like that, yeah. So, but there was one part of the article that mentioned that uh, both homosexual and paraphilic uh, tendencies they both occur in early childhood. Like both of them do occur in early childhood. That's my thing. Like, I'm not sure if it is something you're born with. And there actually is a good study in here also that talks about the X chromosome. I mean the the Y chromosome. That's the one men have, right? The Y chromosome. No, yeah, men men have men have Y. Yeah, yeah. Women have X. So <laughs> there was one study that was talking about how uh, 
So it turns out that based on some surveys they did that a lot of male males who end up being homosexual are either third or fourth or second, third or fourth. They're, they're always a younger sibling in, in sibling in, in situations where they have older male brothers. Right. And that it's just a it's not a hundred percent, but obviously, but it's still a correlation to where younger brothers tend to have more homosexual tendencies. And that because <clears throat> and I forgot the uh, the doctor's name, but the thing the thing about that is though like based Blanchard. on based on what exactly because Maybe maybe that statistic just isn't true because maybe it's more socially acceptable now to come, to come out, out as right? homosexual than it was back then. So, uh, I think that's they're saying this whole the study was done in uh, so it was done between 1997 and 2006. Okay, 1997 <laughs> wasn't exactly a yeah. <laughs> you know a very progressive time. So let me for let me read the uh, the segment. So it says. Uh, this doctor uh, Blanchard hypothesized, and this is his hypothesis, uh, that the fraternal birth order effect on male homosexuality was caused by the immune system of the mother, which becomes increasingly sensitized to proteins produced by the Y chromosome of each succeeding male fetus and increasingly likely to affect the sexual differentiation of each succeeding male fetus. And then further on it says... Uh, in, in the most recent 2006 study says the prediction has subsequently uh, been been borne out in a large scale study of adopted children uh, saying that they did a study on adopted children see if they had this uh, uh, the same situation uh, whether or not they were born biologically in the family and still mm -hmm. being the younger sibling mm -hmm. and whether or not they were born or, or they were adopted and still the younger sibling and that the younger siblings who were adopted did not have the same correlation as of, of homosexuality as they're growing older as the born within family right. uh, younger siblings younger, younger siblings right and it was just like hmm. which to me all leads to choice right <clears throat> like I think it depends on the individual right like some people can choose to be gay some people can choose not to be gay anymore I do believe that some people are born that like raises, that. <clears throat> that, raises, that raises the that raises the point though. Um, I, I just like to I just like to clear the air right now. I am I believe that um, you are born with your right? sexuality preference. I believe that one hundred percent. Also um, for females you might too, not, you, because I think like we we're you, saying, you, females' sexuality is a little bit more fluid, fluid than a, than fluid. a male's. I, I I just I just believe I just believe that you just kind of don't have really know what's going on until you're like. Eight, <laughs> right, right. You know, eight or nine. Even, you know, that's that's even then you're, then you're like, like confused. Pressure, you're yeah, like, yeah, you're confused. You don't know what's mm -hmm. happening. But um, so back to your, back to what you were saying though. Like, I think that it's just a matter of. I feel okay. If you, if you, if you're of the the the, the group that actually does acknowledge that as born, then this Y chromosome study is actually pretty. Like if if it pans out, and they had a lot of research or at least enough research to to draw this hypothesis, then it, that that does indicate that that males are easily born. They couldn't be born gay. Mm -hmm. I believe Unless that. This is why yeah. chromosome, the whatever it has to do with these uh, proteins or whatever. I believe that. I f I feel like it's like I hopefully hopefully it's not like um they're not trying to like put like a uh to try to like define a scientific. Yeah. reason for sexuality in general because i feel if it does that it kind of cheapens you know your sexual preference which is like the second biggest thing you can mm -hmm. do as a human being like the second biggest thing <laughs> yeah. you can go through as a human being Pretty like you know, your sexuality preference like yeah. besides living <laughs> you know so right. i think it's pretty up there on the list right? yeah i think black. I, I just <laughs> 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 I just, I just think, I just think that, um, I just hope I, if, if that, if that study is true, then I'd be, I, I really want to see like, like hard evidence of this. Yeah. Like I really want to see that just to, just to justify like why they can say like, oh, it's because of like protein intake and, um, certain chromosomes or how they react. I want to see scientific you know? trials. 
Yeah, I want to see this like happen, and I know it's going to be like something over a lifetime. That and they I probably definitely observe, think they should but... do the research, man. Like honestly, so spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> you, you all right, man? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, spoiler alert. Like the the more or less conclusion of this article is that no, like homosexuality and paraphilia, they have enough differences between it's between psychology, psychology, biology, and um, and just other aspects that definitely differentiates between. Homosexual behavior and uh, paraphilia uh, uh, I think interests, so. yeah. right? <clears throat> yeah, um, I, 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 I think so too. Like, I, I believe that absolutely, one hundred percent. And the thing is, like, I, said, I mean, you can, you can, you can tell the difference because, like, if you look out at other species, like say koalas, or if you look at dolphins and whatnot, there's homosexual like behaviors and activities as well. Mm-hmm. So, but then, like. So it's not just. It's like, what are, are there paraphilias in dolphins? Yeah, you know, you wonder. Like, have you ever studied dolphins with a I, fetish? I don't. Uh, I've heard people. Can like, animals have fetishes? I, right. I'm or is not, it just something I'm not innately? Sure. I think that I think that's a human thing. Honestly. You think so? Yeah, I do. I, don't I do know. because it's like it's straight up biology where dolphins and koalas do differ, but I think it's biology where you know it's just it's to them it's just sex and it's for the sake of. Mm-hmm. But for dolphins have sex for play for pleasure. They yeah, do. You know, right. Dolphins have sex for pleasure. Koalas don't. Do. I don't think koalas have sex for pleasure, but I think do, no dolphins do. But um, it, I'm not sure. I think it's a human thing for a fetish. Like you know, do you like feet? <laughs> you know, or do you like do you like legs? Or it's just like do you like hair? Or it's just like I think it's I think it's a human thing. It's like. Mm-hmm. I, like, I, don't think, I don't think I don't think I don't think them as mammals as a uh, or as mammals of their type have enough reason like we do to differentiate to draw with, like specific. It might it about, might be like, literally life and death of them. If you don't find a mate, then you don't you can't you can't. Yeah, procreate. a lot of cases, a lot of cases, it is like that with with just most so, species, you know. But because we have you know more resources, we're a little bit more privileged in you know like. We have life. the ability to reason, have, yeah. and then with that, with that, that's and why we're, you know, with with the ability to reason, we have we're at the top of the food chain because, well, we can make guns. This is the thing, though. So <laughs> you know, I recall like yeah. I recall the study when I was reading the book uh, "Sex at Dawn," which I've talked about before, and it was a study um, they did with uh, young male goats and sheep and herds, right? And they they put and, and so they switched these. Uh, the sheep and the goats and in um their youth, right, when they were like newborns. And uh-huh. so they had these goats, these male goats and male female and male goats grow up with sheep, right? Okay. And then they switch it. They had female and male sheep grow up with goats. goats. Yeah. Right. So as they grew older, because of the sexual fluidity differences between the two, the young male uh goats growing up with sheep, they were only sexually sexually interested in in mating with the sheep right right and when they were in, you know brought over to the ghosts and they they had no interest they were like what the fuck are these mm-hmm. um but the females were they they were fluid they mm-hmm. were able to mate with either group whichever one they were in whichever right. they decided right mm-hmm. so when it comes down to whether or not it's a it's a cognitive uh Decision. It's a psych, yeah, yeah, psychological kind of decision. I'm not sure if it's just. But is that biology the, the or is, imprinting? The, because like, it's you, imprinting with, with, with it biology imprinting. though. Yeah, with biology though, like females, they just they're just. When in terms of like species wise, they just they're they just want to procreate and kind of pass along their genetic. It's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, cats. So, you know, like when cats are in heat and female cats are in heat. Mm-hmm. You know, they're pretty much anything <laughs> yeah no pretty much like anything mm-hmm. anything but, that but then, moves yeah, yeah. like but then you know, with imprinting yeah. though like when you have a duck look at you when it's first born it thinks it's a human or whatever you know what i'm saying so that's and, why that's why and that was also and that was also, <laughs> yeah. and also and also in in terms of the biology versus um imprinting that was conditioned that whole thing because they were set up because they, they were set up they were set up to grow up with only knowing like goats were uh the young goats were only set up to be with the sheep, and the mm. young sheep were. So that's why they think the that goats. they're probably sheep. So, or just goats. so like if it were, that's why. That's why I'm thinking with like the ability to reason. If we were, you know, if we were, if we were adopted into a family, 
you know, maybe as a baby, you'd be like, yeah, whatever, I'm a baby. But mm-hmm. then when you grow older, you realize, well, we are di- probably don't, we're, I, we're different. You know, it's, of course, it's up to your parents to tell you that. Right. But, like, we're different. Well, would you have and, a... And, and you know that you're different. You just know. You yeah, know I think what comparing, I mean? like, human sexuality to any other type of animal is different. Because as Frank just said, you know, we have the ability to reason. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think, I think reasoning it's, it's always comes into sexual preference. I just don't think it does. I don't think it's always a logical situation. Maybe not if you're like I said, I believe some people are born gay. Um and maybe reasoning doesn't quite come into it as far as that, but Because as far as that goes, you always have to ask questions. So if you already know being gay is gonna lead to a more difficult lifestyle for you to integrate mm-hmm. into a society in which Homosexuality is not accepted. Accepted. Yeah. <clears throat> right. And also the same with um people with paraphilia. So if they're going into a society knowing that this paraphilia, say they're they're pedophile, right? Is not accepted. I don't know if that's a decision for them to to be like, oh well that's this, this isn't something I need well, I'll toss this off. You know? that, that that yeah, you're definitely correct on that. That definitely depends. Which opens a slew of questions, though, right? You just said pedophilia. It, it, are people and that's born the as worst pedophiles? case. That's the worst case scenario. Can you be born as a pedophile? Is that that's possible? No, no, no. That's paraphilia, thing, right? paraphilia, paraphilia is a fetish. I don't think you can be born with a fetish. I don't know. Like you're I, not born with a fetish, but yeah. you definitely you develop it. You're, you're de- it's, you it's developed it. in your de- it's de- developed in your youth before puberty. Right. So you're probably eight, nine. Usually they say before, according to the article, they say before ten years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's related to I think it said the adrenal glands, whatever that means. Anyway, so they said that it's usually before you're, you know. You hit puberty, puberty. Mm-hmm. and you and then start. They said it starts as a as an interest, and then it grows into a fetish. So, however an that that pan an exception, right? Something like that. So, however that pans out, it's like, like, like how feet. I, like Frank like said, feet. like feet. <laughs> like you saw you some yeah. feet or some shoes, I mean, that little or, space right there. Yeah. Between your foot. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> like when the second toe is longer than the big. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a hell of an arch you got there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, flat feet? I'll take those too. Right, so I'll go <laughs> scrub so heels? Frank, so <laughs> That's a hell of an arch you got there. Feet you fetish? That's my Achilles heel. Yeah, you know. Oh, no. 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 Oh, the hell of an arch you got right now. <laughs> Damn, those manicures? Oh, snap. Pedicures? You easy? know, speaking about uh, so paraphilia and uh, <laughs> human sexuality and terminology, it's part of this article um, when they get into terminology. And it, I, speaking as a heterosexual male, was, you know, I guess maybe I just didn't think that there were so many uh, different classes to sexuality for humans. You know, you would think that you're either gay or you're straight, you know, right? Like, yeah. I mean, they got heterosexuality, homosexuality, uh, even pedi- gender fluidity, pedophilia, telephilia. I don't even know what the hell so that is. So they said telephilia was just a, like a sexual attraction to adults, right? Whereas yeah. pedo- pedophilia, pedophilia is, is attraction to children. To children. Yeah, and then there's like, just, and then there's like andro, there's like androphilia, androphilia which is just adult males, genophilia, Gen- like, like, the- an- like, uh, yeah, gyna- yeah, gynophilia, yeah, gynophilia, yeah. Yeah. No, excuse me, gynophilia. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I didn't realize there were so many different terms for. I just, you know, you think you're gay, or you're straight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like men, you like women. Yeah, no. you know? I mean, you think, it's well, just even, all about even specifics. Even in terms of like gender, then for mm-hmm. gender is a you know, social construct as well. Like we're not talking about sexes. We're talking about <laughs> talking about genders. On top of that, gender fluidity, mm-hmm. like the different types of gender, right. like mm-hmm. asexual. So like, in this article, they list crazy. they they put in this article they put uh, so it's transgender transgender under pedophilia. I mean, not is it yeah, under is it? under uh. You Paraphilia, is it? No. Yeah, paraphilia. they put. But yeah, they put transgenderism yeah. under paraphilia. Yeah, is it a fetish? I mean, according to this article, right? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't want to call it. Because what if you have a woman who's felt like she was a man from since she was from puberty, from eight years old? You know. Oh, uh, there's another term. This is auto. Because uh, I can see. I, I, can see I am not as scientist as you can tell. Yeah, I can see certain. I don't know these but words. Like, when, when you identify. Yeah, I, th- that, that's, that's different. Man. That's, a, that's, that's a, like that's higher. That's yeah, like that's, like you said. Like mm-hmm. you said, it's like it's not just like it's not just a feeling. It's like 
knowing. Mm-hmm. And also, that doesn't know? necessarily translate to sexuality. Like, as it, right, it, no, it did no. mention the article, it's an that, identity at that right. point. It's an identity. Right. It's like who you see yourself as, as opposed to what you're attracted to or mm-hmm. what you want to, yeah, right. how you're attracted to. So, yeah, transgenders can be homosexual, heterosexual, asexual. So, if you have a transgender man who feels like, like he's a woman but is attracted to men, is he heterosexual? Is he homosexual? I mean, how do you classify He him? could be and- however, androphil- however, if he's, however if he's they attracted identify, to men, he's androphilic. However they identify as, and then that's one thing. With and then well, however, however, whatever they identify as, and that's then what? they mm-hmm. whatever gender they're attracted to, that's what they are. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, yeah, so, I would go by that. So yeah, I yeah. just go by whatever they identify as. Mm-hmm. So if it's a you know male to female, female to male, whatever, and then they ident- they attract it to male or female. That's whatever they are. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> if, the, if the if so. the transgender is attracted to females, adult females, the person transgender is what? a genophilia. A genophilia. If they're attracted oh, gyne- to females, gynophilia. gynophilia. Yeah, that's 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 heterosexual that's males. Like mm-hmm. all heterosexual males are gynophilia. Gynophili- and lesbians are gynophiliacs. Or androphiliacs. Oh yeah, no, lesbians and, too. And, yeah, yeah. And the other and way then, around, androphiliacs, but they're attracted to men. Adult mm-hmm. males. Yeah. Most, you know, most women, <laughs> most you know, most heterosexual yeah. women, or yeah, I say most because fluidity, but like mm-hmm. most like heterosexual women. Like we say many women, times, we have no answers here. In, this, <laughs> yeah, <we have laughs> in no way do we have any questions. answers. Let I'm us starting, know what you think. I'm starting, I'm starting to get it now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even we don't pronounce know. half of these. <laughs> so how to the, pronounce this? Shit. I, do, I can't even pronounce half of these. <laughs> um, so half of these uh, terms. I have another question. Um, so should harmless I'll put harmless in quotations. Paraphilia, fetishes be frowned upon or denied. Legal rights. And, 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 and if we're looking at it from the aspect of the way homosexuality, how we're trying to have them have equal rights, right? So say, so I, I think well, let's I, I think of furries, right? So if a person is a furry, should that person be able to why marry you, as you, a furry? Why don't you classify what a furry is first? Oh, shit. <laughs> I need. Go ahead. I don't think anybody or anything I want to say. should be denied legal I'm rights. For the, uh, legal def- <laughs> if, if you're not causing harm to yourself or to others, what, why would you want to deny legal rights exactly. to and anyone based cares? upon a sexual that's, preference? That's, that's, that's it. That's that's the point. Who cares? You are a person. If you're right. not hurting anybody, Noun. who is a furry? An enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics, in particular, a person who dresses up in a costume as such. A character or uses one as an avatar online. Like somebody who dresses like the Easter Bunny or something like that? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Sure. If you want that to be the If you want to be the sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I got to be the Easter Bunny? Hey, that Lola Bunny though. What yeah. else? Oh, so it's like Roger Rabbit and stuff like that. Hey. No, Roger Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. Jessica was Rabbit was a beast. Yeah, 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 Jessica Rabbit was a beast. She was a furry. Nah. So why don't you do right? That's a movie. <laughs> mm. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, man. So classic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, classic. It's, it, it, is. it goes back to the question. Like, like if you're not hurting nobody, and this is my philosophy for most things. Okay, if both, you're not both. hurting anybody, if you're not, yeah, if you're not hurting anybody, if this is really a free country, you should be able to do what you want to do. So my question then would be, what rights are they asking for that they don't have? Say so this. Is it like? Is it like? Um, I think that person like the right to marry, like you know, like now yeah. that just recently. Um, why? Why wouldn't they be able to marry? Like, that's, say, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, why wouldn't they? They're people. I, I don't know. Ask the Republicans. The law, <laughs> like, <laughs> like why? Maybe, why aren't these, homosexuals these are, these are, supposed to be these are, these are rhetorical questions? We're yeah, asking, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not attacking you. No, no, no. Like, but that is the question. Like, yeah. that is the question. Why wouldn't they? Like, if you're looking at homosexuals, like, why would? Why is there always such a big debacle? Like, whether or not they should be allowed marriage, right? Legally, or for that's, any other reasons. That's 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 church versus state, man. That's like a, that's something that like it was very influenced by the church, where like homosexuals can't get married because it's not it's not accepted. And then, oh. but then, but then it's like the state. But then the no. states are like. But then the government is like, well, why not? Right. They're people. If men and women are allowed to get married to each other, why can't men and men and women and women? They're still men and women. It's still a good contract. Married to each other. Binding. <laughs> you know, so it's still... It's good for taxes. It's good for taxes. taxes. So, right. like, why Why can't... Like, it's more marriage. It's more money for us, the state. And, so. and, see, and, like, I totally agree. And the thing is, like, 
Who cares? No, they're not going to bother you. No. They're not going to break up your marriage. But as long as, like, as, long as, they're, not, as, long as they're not hurting anybody. I think then, it boils down to legal, right? Like, as much as we try to separate church and state, I mean, a lot of laws of state came from the church. Right, um, right. Today and in the past, I mean, hundreds of years ago, this, the church was the state. You yeah. Know? Um, oh, I have a, ooh. And maybe it boils down to finances, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Like, if you have a man marrying a man, how do you identify which one is the 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 you know under the current marriage laws, right? How do you identify which one is the wife or? Well, um, I mean, for I tax think, purposes, I think it's just. I think it's, I think it's just I do you have to just, change the tax code for a man marrying a man versus a man marrying I think, a woman? I think it's just that they both identify as husbands, mm-hmm. and then women they both identify as wives. That's all. I think that's just what it is. I'm not sure. Not not trying to be funny or anything, but like I'd be curious to see how like maternal leave and all that would come in then, right? Because that would like be that. Because I know? think that or even like spousal support. Because oh, I think, they I have think maternal, maternal leave, right? But yeah. I think I think that is not as highlighted as maternal. No, leave. no, it's not. It's not. So that should Definitely. be a thing. But then, if we were to have two <laughs> husbands marry each other mm-hmm. and they were to adopt, like even like an infant, for example, right? Like they should get some paternal leave, right? right? Yeah. That's a that's a whole other. That's thing, that's though. that's. I mean, that's yeah. That's a whole yeah, other thing because system, we just we system. we just got like you know that passed right. You know now going now that's that's considered going into the weeds, even though it shouldn't be because people don't don't like they didn't think that far. Mm. You know, people are just happy that with the small victories we have right now. Yeah, you know. So good question. I'm sorry, I'm ready to get into this shit again. All right, so <laughs> I. I think of furries because that's the furthest thing I can think of, right? <laughs> I guess. <So, laughs> it's the first thing I think of. I think that he might have something. You know? <laughs> so the thing is like, so, so, has any of you guys ever had a dream? You ever had a dream you had a tail? <laughs> <laughs> guys? Hello? 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 But the question is so, if furries have, so it's about having a costume, right? Like, that's part of it, right? So it was like, would they have to have two costumed entities married? And would that have legal rights? What? <laughs> but, see, but the thing is, like... <laughs> so it would be like superheroes. But so can them, superheroes get married with their, their secret like identities? But some of them still identify be, as... Well, like, like, what if I want her to dress up as a cop? Right? Like, is that part of the whole does thing? Or does she have to dress as an animal? You see, see, Do you want to marry the cop her? You see, or the real her? You see, that's, the, that's, that's not her occupation. See, but that's, <laughs> but that's, a, but that's a good example, though. That's a good example, though, because right. that's like that's just the theme of a wedding, which is normal. And yeah. what is considered normal, I guess, in this day and age is a heterosexual wedding with these crazy themes. So why can't a person who is a furry have As their long as they don't have two aliases. Right. Ha- as long as they don't have two aliases. Two aliases, right? What do you mean? Like they would have to... Like the furry person and their identity offline or online... Oh, like Superman and Clark. Kent. Yeah, yeah, like like Superman and Clark Kent, right? Like, cause Superman marry Lois Lane and Clark Kent marry Lana Lang. No, cause um, legally, cause It'll Superman, be Superman is Superman, like illegally, like the most illegal. Like you, can, he's an alien from another world. There's oh, no paperwork. There's, there's no, no paperwork, paperwork for him to be no like. Birth your name is Superman when you're in contact. He's an undocumented alien. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's yeah. so. Wait, that did come up in the news recently. Clark Kent is le- Clark Kent is legally Clark Kent. Like okay. he was, you know, given the name and you know, raised in the Versus raised in America yeah. and stuff like that. So. He right. is Clark I was trying Kent to catch legally. you on the loop, but okay, that's fine. So. <laughs> I'm trying to catch you. But that's you, actually makes sense. But you, sorry. So, like, I was just saying that, like, I think a furry, if a furry just wants another person to do whatever, like, it's, it's, it's who cares? It's, it's, right. it's, it's what. But they're, it's so whatever. Legal legal identity, as long as nobody's though, being that's hurt, what's marrying? That's yeah, what the legal marrying. identity mm-hmm. is. It's not. It's not who they identify as, like offline. It's like the legal identity is who they're marrying. So, it's like, that's what it is. Self. It's oh, just they just you. happen to. <laughs> they just happen to be a furry. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So, so not that there's anything you're wrong with self. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. Do you, boo? Yeah. That's that's all it is. That's what it comes down to, man. Do you? Yeah. Don't hurt anybody. As long as you process. don't hurt don't nobody be an else. Asshole. Do you, <laughs> you know, as long as you're not being an asshole, you're fine. What if that's okay. Well, okay. What, if that, what if that's your fetish? Hypothetical. Hypothetical. Well, then. To be mean to people. Say you're out with your kids, and I have my son here with me today, right? And I say you're on a train or a, a metro or something, or a bus, or you're standing in the mall, and you have two uh, gay men who are being affectionate towards one another, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe kissing, maybe, mm-hmm. uh, you know, um, 
you know, doing whatever else a couple would do, right? Mm-hmm. Would you feel comfortable with your kids seeing that and asking questions? How would you feel in that situation? Like if they, you were on a bus, and I would want them to ask questions, right? That's, 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 what, that's what I was going to say. Be, because I like, feel, I don't feel, deny their curiosity. Be like, yeah. you know what? I'd be like, those two people, they love each other. You know how kids are. You know how kids are, right? A teachable moment. But you know how kids are. Kids will call you out. Daddy, why are they kissing over there? You know what I mean? And be like, and they're all loud. And, and, like, and, and then, and then and you, you educate them. them. Yeah. Be like, they love each other. Yeah, because they love each other. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. It's like, but and you know, but if they ask the question, like, but they're two men or two women, and I'm like, well, that's that's okay. Mm-hmm. Tell them stop being a little bigot. Why, why you being a little bigot? <laughs> huh? being a little bigot. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, I, like, I, just huh? in this. I mean, like, you can tell your son, be like, you know what? Like, when you're when you're when you're growing up, right? I You'll still love you. Yeah. So I mean, like, should a dad like, not love it? If you're, right? if, you're <laughs> if you're my son, like, if you're my son, is like, but that's two men. It's like, but we kiss each other on the lips. Why not? Mm-hmm. You're my son. Mm-hmm. You know, you're my blood. You're my family. So why not? That's just I, I I'd want I would, them to ask it, questions. It would, it would mm-hmm. be an educational moment. I, I would, I would yeah, questions. I would definitely want them to ask questions. And I would I would imagine everybody should need to prepare for this moment in your life. Yeah, because it may come up at any moment. Mm-hmm. You see, now if the now if the if the gay dudes or the gay gay girls are being assholes, then I'll be like, all right. <laughs> yeah. if you like, like grab you, dude, dick, I'm like, whoa, like, whoa, like, what whoa. You, what you don't want to do, I'm like, what you don't want to do is act the way they're acting mm-hmm. right now. What they were yeah. doing is fine until just just until right there, <laughs> and then that's it. But yeah. they're not hurting anybody. They're not doing it. They just love each other. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Do you? <laughs> it's important. That is a good question. It's important to have that conversation with the kids. And I think every Don't, teachable yeah. moment needs to be taken advantage of. Anytime something strange happens, in a way, it's it's hard as a parent, you know, but you got to be able to rationalize it for the kid, man. Mm-hmm. Like, look, this is what they like. Because like this is how they are. Because like, let them be. Bigotry a, and hatred. It doesn't hurt you. Let them play it. Just, bigotry and hatred are taught. Right. Absolutely. Oh, they're definitely talking. Yeah. And so is, and so is love and tolerance. So that in Talk. that moment, you could possibly change your, your child's perception of, of, of everything. Of everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everything. Literally. Oh, everything. They're what, definitely what, you, what you say, what you say, what you say in that next moment, if they ask, like, why are they kissing over there, is you very say, important. Go, no, 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 it's just no. like, and go back 50 years, yeah. 30 years. Like, you know, yeah. when you see interracial couples, even. Mm-hmm. Right, like interracial couples were not allowed to marry, like up until like what the seventies or something 70s. or sixties. Like that wasn't too long ago. Mm-hmm. That was still within our lifetimes. So like, and again, if you see two furries on the subway, and, you, and, and, you they, and you. they start you do bumping you. muzzles, yeah. Mm-hmm. If they if they if they, they start muzzling, muzzling each other, they don't muzzle each other. If they're not if they're not hurting anybody, then that's fine. But if they come up to me, it's like, hey, I'm like, no, 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 no. no you are I'm not good. getting a picture with them. <laughs> I'm good. You are not like, getting... I'm not a furry. No, see, you do you. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not taking pictures with them. You know, here on the Intelligent Idea Talkers podcast, we never try to look at anybody in any kind of bigoted fashion or or anything like that. But now say we're us four are on a bus, right? <laughs> and we see two men kissing off on the side. What will we do? How will we handle that? Would I'm, you handle it in a mature I'm way? Act like I ain't seen you it. wouldn't laugh? No. I would, I would, I would act like I didn't see it. I would act like Dude, I didn't they were over there slobbing each other down. I mean, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. I wouldn't laugh. I'd be a Pokemon right now. Yeah, yeah, you right. see, that's not, that's not, that's not too yeah. far off from the reaction if we see a man and a woman kissing. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's no. uncomfortable. It's the same, it's, well, it's, it's, like, it's uncomfortable. It's, yeah, mm-hmm. if they're going it's hard. It's the same like, reaction. If anything, men and women going hard, I'm like, I mean, they slobbing each other down, though. If you see, if you see a man and a woman doing that, you're like, it's kind of like, but it was still be kind of like yeah exactly. kind of like man have some decency in public right right like, like you're not teenagers anymore. like pda is pda but that's right. that's that's still overboard mm-hmm. that's, still, that's still a lot <laughs> have you guys watched mm-hmm. sense eight the, the, i've watched a little bit mm-hmm. of sense eight i can't get through it man it's rough man i can't get through a lot it. of gay scenes in what, what is it? Oh, really? you know what there's a lot of gay... look you didn't make it that far then. no <laughs> I, I, think, I think there's a lot of gay scenes <laughs> look, <in> just, <laughs> just being that <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'd be watering my It's just not what I'm into. <laughs> oh, it's man. a little uncomfortable. Uh. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's a little it's uncomfortable, but hey, man. Nah, I haven't. I can't. I can't get through. I can't get through Sense Eight, man. I can't. It's, it's not because of that. Because I never got to that yet. But it's just because I can't get through it. Because it's like, ugh. it's slow. Mm. It is slow. Super Bitch move, slow. I might have fast forwarded it sometime. <laughs> Yeah. This, is not, this is my thing. It's all good, man. Because I ain't gonna hate. Because 
You know, I watched the show and I gave it five stars. Because I don't mean speaking as a, a heterosexual man. Like, if I'm sitting next to Juice or Frank good. or Jay and some, and these two guys are kissing, like, right next to us. You giggling? I'm definitely tapping one of y'all and be like, look. <laughs> right? So it might be a little bit funny. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just... It just depends. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm still on the. Depends I'll be on flicking range. my phone like. It depends on our, our on? tolerance as human beings, and also our maturity level, right? Like, I might be able to handle it a little bit better now, being 33 year old man, than I would be in a 23 year old man, right? Yeah, like so. Yeah, that's that's all you know, of us. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's always, it was just hypothetical. That's all of us. I, I think know. I think at 23, we're I like, believe Yo, honestly. If that's your preference, no, no, and that's what you like, no. but but then you know, like but you're not hurting anybody. But then, like, like, I think that's just because it's just it's just different from your usual day to day, though, right? So like for me, like if I was sitting there and I see like you know someone who might be handicapped in a wheelchair mm-hmm. or something, right? Or like you know he he's an amputee or something, right? Like I'm sure that we might look and stare as well, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Some of us who are a little bit more sensitive might be, you know, kind of ignore it. We still be on our phones and whatnot. So it's just, it's whatever that we're not used to mm-hmm. that we are more fixated and focused on. True. So like, you know, if I see someone who's a, you know, a grown man, like a football player wearing a tutu or something, mm-hmm. you know, I might, you know, I might, you know, tap, you know. Yeah. Like, that, oh, I'm definitely laughing that's that's like, that's, that's like, yeah, I'm like, definitely laughing. But, but the thing is, but the thing is like, <laughs> you know, but the thing is like, he can do whatever he wants, and I'm gonna respect that right. And whatever mm-hmm. he wants, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for that. You know what I'm saying? At yeah. the same time, though, I'm not used to that, so right. I might be like, "Hey, Frank, hey, I might know. be on the floor." Look over, Juice. He's still on his phone. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, 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 he's already like, he's this? Sweating. He's sweating. You don't see this? I'm on he's Instagram. He's like, I don't see like anything. Shit. Yo. I don't see anything. I'm, I'm like in every goddamn thing I see on there, yo. So we get off this much. Like, whatever game you're playing, that's intense. He's like, can I play? Now, I think, I think honestly, is this? I think a major point. I think a major point of a of a topic like this, and like you know, you brought up like people being disabled and. It's like, I think it's just like, honestly, we just view, and it comes down to like race too. It's because it's been one of the biggest examples of like slavery, but like we view people who are different or most people view people who are different as less than human mm-hmm. or like not people at all. Like we, we think that they are. Do we that, do that or do the, does the media do that? It, it helps. The media definitely helps 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 our perception. It contributes to our it's, perception. It's been before the media. Yeah, like it's not a new phenomenon. I think people it's just like the different. Good yeah. point, though, Jay, because the media does do the that. media does yeah, contribute. The media I think, definitely does. I think, I, think a think lot, I think people are a lot more accepting than the media gives us credit. Because if you if you look at for, let, let's bring it back to like say because um, I'm sure we've already seen some of the stuff, but like say Hurricane Katrina, you'll see people who are breaking into stores. Mm-hmm. They're surviving. Mm-hmm. Right, but right. then you see black people, they're looting. Yeah, like it's like really, dude. It's like, like you're same. selling me a pack of water for fifty dollars. I can it's, break this window and get that pack of water. It's the same for free. thing, but like it's the media will skew things and say things in a certain way to put a light on things, mm-hmm. okay? yeah. and you're like, wow, that's kind of wow. It's, I, like it, it skews it. It's it's it. It, it it start it starts. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say where it starts from, but like, <laughs> but we've done it. We've done it to women. We've done it to people of color. We've done it to people who are differently abled. We've done it to people who are mm-hmm. in sexual different differences. Certain social status, sexual sexual preference. Absolutely, it's it's, uh, it's all it's over. A, we'll find something. A, we'll find something. Yeah. To, like mm-hmm. be prejudiced. It's about. us it's a versus prejudice. them. It's a yeah. fear factor. A it's a it's a mentality where your ego takes over and you're just not able to recognize or empathize with other people. And in a way, it's also unfortunately in some aspects, it's a it's a survival mechanism in itself. Uh, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. even still, if you're not living in the fucking forest, God damn it, then show some goddamn respect. It is a us versus them. That's survival. It you is. Know, survival of empathy and, re- and respect, uh, you know, curtailing this back around to our dependence on technology, which uh, <laughs> I saw another article that says technology is actually making humans less empathetic towards one another and less yes. sensitive towards yes. people's needs. Yes. We're not interacting. <laughs> We're not interacting <laughs> with them. We don't talk. We don't, yeah. you don't talk to your and neighbor. And you're able Nobody to hide behind a when was the last alias. Time, when was the last time you used your phone to call somebody? Please. Exactly, right? You messaged them. Like... Or like yeah. if you're if you're on a play date with your kids and you're you know you got parents sitting around five or six parents you won't talk to those parents you'll oh, you're everybody's you know, you know, on what's, phone, you know what's you know? the worst you know what's the worst when you're walking down like a hallway or something and you see someone else and you just look down at your phone oh yeah and yeah. you just walk past them yeah. and I'm like really dude mm-hmm. really like I know you saw me <laughs> like I know you yep. saw me but no that's absolutely one hundred percent true one 
One hundred percent true. It's Absolutely. been it's been something that's been going on pretty much since it's gotten worse. We got these. Phones. It's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. <laughs> the smartphone yeah. was. Uh, I think was it's since we got these, it's on. been worse. Mm-hmm. Yep. So much worse. It's a hindrance and it's a, it's a burden at the same time. You know, it's technology, man. Yeah, man, it's We're a here. blessing and a curse. Yeah. Double edged sword, man. We're here. <laughs> we here. Well, uh, how long have we been going for, man? We ain't got time for any other topics. We hit two oh eight. Wow. Oof. Guess it's probably about time to wrap up. Yeah. I reckon. Yeah. We'll I think. Him. I think. We'll I save think him for next cast. Let, let's not wait set. another mu- three months to have another cast. I'm not trying to do one. We haven't done a cast since Maybe like what? Beginning weeks. of August. Yeah, it's been a while. It had to be like beginning of August. It's been a busy month. Hmm. Wow. It's all good. So, uh, I guess that's uh, going to take us out. Yeah. Thanks again, Frank. You know what I'm saying? For oh, dropping definitely. through, and, man. And Frank, good man. games. I hope this is not the last time. Good games. I hope this is not the yeah, last time. Yeah, deaf, man. Oh, thanks for having yeah. me, guys. Good this Games this Podcast, y'all. Check them out, man. Yeah, you can check us out on iTunes. You can check us out on Stitcher Radio. You See, can check us out where all, where all Stitcher podcasts Stitcher Radio, be. son. Yeah. All right. You can check us out where all podcasts be. You know, I'll tell you guys how to get on that, too. It's, 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 it's easy. Nice, man. So, yeah. So, yeah, you can you can check out the show. We talk about games. And the topic is not as politically focused as this but like we just talked about games and fun you know we were stuff. talking about that before it's like uh maybe a lot of our topics are too heavy sometimes like maybe oh. we should try to lighten <laughs> the mood a little bit you know we keep it at 100 that's what good games are for we're talking some bullshit we like, keep it at 100 yo. Joel Osteen Jesus don't <laughs> no, like no, you no, no, no. <laughs> we, we tried to lighten it up we did at the beginning of this cast we talked about Prometheus and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alien Covenant we usually have uh, a kind of like hit yeah. topic or you know yeah. fun topic we like were that. speaking about that before it's like are, are a lot of these topics too heavy you know maybe we should lighten the load yeah, a look, little bit if you guys want us to talk about some drop a comment, yeah. Like and subscribe anyway. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, you could also you could also listen to the show on YouTube. We got a YouTube channel, Good Games. Okay, I'm done. All right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they on all the platforms. Yeah, we are all, 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 all the platforms. And I hope you're right, not the I'm last time. Oh, no, no, thank back, you, man. thank you. I appreciate you guys having me. This yeah, was dope. Was a lot of fun. And you know what? This like settles my question whether or not we could do a four man podcast. You know, so I think I think we hashed it out pretty good, honestly. Dude, we could do a ten man podcast now. We probably could do a ten man <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Nobody would get nothing done. <laughs> we can get nothing done at that point. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's gonna take us out. Uh, Television Idea Talkers podcast episode twenty five, uh, wrapping up. Uh, once again, I'm your host D. This is Juice. Your boy Jay. And this was this was Frank. <laughs> and, and the, the end Frank. of the night toast. Hey, oh, hey, I got a toast hey, with an empty hey, cup. Hey, hey, I don't hey, already hey. drank all of my Me stuff. Too. All right. Well, I, I didn't good. finish. Drinking. It's all good, guys. Thanks for joining us. All right. Peace, Peace y'all.